Welcome. Next stop, the Fashion Bunker. Please sit back, relax and enjoy your journey.
Hello? Everybody, peace, 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 peace. Welcome to the holiday edition of the Passion Bunker live stream. What have you? If you're into Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're into Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you're into some other holiday, Happy Holiday. If you're into no holiday, well, then happy return to the Passion Bunker. Many happy returns, darling. How's everybody going? Hey, Tyler. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Kev. Hey, Rich. Hey, Aisha. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, Vel. Vel, it still seems you're having issues. Hey, Susie Collector. Hey, Monarch. Vel, it still seems like you're having issues to join the chats. I have no clue what's going on, girl. You're not blocked. Obviously, Bubbles recognizes you. Listen, coffee has been brewed. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is the first day that we're doing the new live stream. Uh, how it's like, if, so basically the pre-show, by the way, thank you so much for the tier two members and patrons because every Saturday, you know, there's like a live pre-show now with the new, with the new live streams, it's a bit longer for all the tier two members. Oh, look at space age. Thank you so much. Rich, Rich. I'm going to pop your cherry. Hold on. Um, so now if you're a tier two member and a tier two patron. Two pounds super chat from Rich Mitch. Looking space age. Yas, queen. You best believe. I look like a little Christmas ornament, tree ornament. Look at this. Look at, look at this. Rich Mitch. We popping a cherry. Wee. Oh my gosh. Yas. I caught it. Woo, the smokiness of it all. Yas, queen. Thank you so much. Mwah, thank you. Happy festivities to everybody. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? This Jane Davenport actually is Jane with us right now in the chat. <coughs> Jane Davenport gifted me this in Melbourne. It is a candle snuffer. It's a Dior candle snuffer. Y'all, for this festive occasion, by the way, every time you send a super chat or a uh, direct uh, tip, by the way, thank you so much for the super chat direct tips. YouTube takes 45% if you do a super chat. So keep that in mind. Tip better. And it always falls here on, on the snowman. And he kind of collects them. He's like balancing all the tips. So Jane gifted me this Dior candle snuffer, which makes such a good little noise, right? So why do I have a, can, a candle snuffer with me? Uh, because we're also going to light a candle together. Oh my God, it's my favorite candle from the Dior range. It's the Saint Honoré Christian Dior candle. So we're going to light it up in just a second. But I want, just wanted to say... Now with the new live stream system. So basically, uh, we just came out of the brand new live stream uh, pre-show for tier two members and tier two patrons. Basically, every Saturday you get access to a whole live uh, stream before the main live show. But now you also get access, exclusive access to see some of the um, segments that are going to be filmed, that are going to be shown on my main channel later throughout the week. So we also filmed a couple of segments together. So you get access to that as well. You get access to the live studio audience. It's awesome. So anyway, we're just out of that. The first time that we're doing this new system and now we're in here and we're going to light a candle. Uh, also, um, thank you so much, Rich Mitch. 45. Yes. Super chats. YouTube keeps 45%, maybe even more. Last I checked, it was 45%. Angela says, thank you for answering my Egyptian Chanel question on YouTube. I appreciated it. Oh, Angela, thank you so much for acknowledging it. Because, you know, some people just take it for granted. They're like asking questions like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Anyway, 
I'm dressed as a uh, holiday tree ornament. I do have tinsel woven in my hair. Oh my God, this took me forever to do. I, I also do look a little bit like um, one of those little silverfish. I mean, you could say space age was. Can you believe that somebody called me a freak on YouTube just today? Cha I, ah, there you go, Rich Mitch. Rich Mitch donated six dollars. Hands off this one, YouTube. Yes, Queen. Let me pop another cherry, Rich. Oh, a green one. Let's see. If this one is a dud, we're gonna pop another one. Hold on. Here goes. Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't manage to catch it. It flew all over the place. Thank you so much, Rich Mitch. Woo -woo! Yay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let me light the candle. Uh, and, um, and then we can begin this uh, holiday celebration. Yeah. Rich. <laughs> rich Benedzin. And... So let me take. Oh, let me take a sip of my co coffee. Um, uh, how's, our, how's everybody doing? Oh, and also with the new system. With the new live streams now, you know, they're going to stay online. So that's also another new little moment. Oh, it's still too hot. Oh, okay, still too hot. Okay, champagne is in the fridge. We're going to have a little drink as well. Okay, I have to wait for the coffee. I'm, I don't want to burn my... Oh, although, let me try. Yeah, it's still too hot. Oh, but it's good. Mmm, freshly brewed coffee. Just to, you know, zhuzh us up a little bit. Okay. These candles smell divine. My favorite one is Saint Honoré, which is this one right over here. And um, we're going to light it together, you know, to celebrate, to have to have a little beautiful, diffuse, uh, profuse smell. And let me read a little bit about these candles because I'm not sponsored, by the way. I just want to share with you like the art. And I love how the French call it bougie. Candles are bougies. Yeah, it's very bougie to light a bougie candle. Um, and they uh, say before use, place your candle in a stable, upright position. Okay, that's going to be a problem here because everything is moving all the time. But uh, because it has to, they want it like kind of to melt, to burn evenly. So you get this wax all over that. So you don't get like a hole, like so that it doesn't burn in one spot more than another. So that it's always nicely evenly distributed, the wax, as the candle, you know, burns. And yeah. Uh, we recommend using an appropriate heat-resistant base that can withstand hot wax, and they want you to buy their little plate lid and the little lid, also available at your. But interesting says when uh, using for the first time, be sure to let the candle burn until the entire surface is liquid. This prevents tunneling and allows the wax to burn evenly. For each use, burn between two to three hours at a time to fully release the candle scent and create the ideal fragrant ambience. Do not leave the candle burning for longer than the recommended time to uh, prevent the ceramic jar from overheating. To avoid blackening of the enamel uh, of the jar, make sure the wick is centered in the candle. If it, if it shifts, extinguish the flame and gently straighten the wick while the wax is still liquid. It's a whole, like... Uh, science to, to these candles, isn't there? The base of the ceramic jar should always contain a small amount of wax. Burning the candle until the wax is completely consumed can damage the jar. And then extinguishing your candle, they recommend using the snuffa. <laughs> so you just like kind of, you know, you put it on top like this. Don't dip it into the wax, otherwise it's going to get dirty. You just kind of cover it so there's no oxygen and the candle extinguishes and then there is some smoke but not a lot of smoke smoke causing i'm kind of surprised that this is still kind of like a sticker i don't know how they attach the name but i thought like when the candle heats up and the wax is hot like it gets pretty hot here i was surprised that this kind of attached name with this with the sticker didn't peel off it's maybe they've lacquered it on somehow i don't know how they did it but it didn't peel off. Let's let's hope Karen Cher is on her best behavior, right? People are so vile on the internet when they aren't held accountable. Meh. I know. It's so insane. And I've been like, you know what? Oh, Lisa. Thank you so much. Let me pop your cherry. Laser Bolden donated $20. Merry Christmas. You look amazing. Heart, heart. Thank you so much, my dear. Let me pop a cherry. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one left a little stain on the ceiling. Oopsie. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. 
Thank you. Thank you. So um, let me light the candle so we get that beautiful smell. And funny how like they have like perfumes, like all of their um, Collection Privé perfumes. Some of their Collection Privé perfumes are also candles, but some of the candles are not also available as perfumes. This one being one of them. I wish this was available as a perfume. Saint Honoré. Oh man, it's so good. This shit is so good. Okay, let me turn it on. We got a lighter. All right, I'm going to light the candle, y'all. Season. I don't light candles often. You know, I'm not like too much of a candle person, but I love how this one smells. Mm. Okay, you know what? There is a flat surface next to me here. Let me put it here. So that's going to give us a beautiful little scent. Uh, maybe not here. Somewhere else. Anywhere? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. We foresee disaster. Oh. Oh, my gosh. This thing smells so good. It is so Christmassy. I love a candle moment, right? This is the first candle that I'm kind of lighting um, on my channel, really. You know, let me just put it here in the front. But it has to be even and not tilted. This is kind of tilted still. That's the problem. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm almost there. All right. Found a nice little spot for it. We got the crop as well because you never know. There might be some MS conversations going on. And also, I mean, can we talk? This year's Christmas uh, ball is uh, amazing. <laughs> uh, Chanel delivered. They really, really delivered. Isn't this thing gorgeous? Little snow globe with the Chanel number no. five in it. Who is wearing Chanel number no. five today? Wait, whose birthday is it? Lady Bradford, is it Truth Jacob? That image of you on Instagram was beautiful. Seriously. Oh, which one? Thank you so much. Happy Christmas, Jacob. Are you um you are everything that's great in uh, in this world, I think? Hi, thank you so much. Tyler, me. Oh, happy birthday, Tyler. <laughs> I love how Tyler's like me. Oh my gosh, sorry, I totally missed that. In the pre-show, I should have said happy birthday. Okay, let me see. Listen, I sang in the pre-show. You oh don't want to know what I sang in the pre-show. It was embarrassing. Tyler, let me sing for you now. It's going to be also embarrassing. Oh, here's another um, bit of the cherry that we just popped. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wait, no, I mean, I'm wearing number five. Oh, Tyler, it's not your birthday. Whose birthday is it? My mom's birthday is also today. All right. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yes. I'm not a Chanel microphone. Happy birthday, dear moms, dads, whoever's birthday it is today. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah, it's also Jesus' birthday. Yeah, it's also, right? Jesus' birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Jesus. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Living ferret. Living ferret. Living ferret. Love the Maryland moment. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jesus. Oh, it's Matthew's birthday. He's six and loves you. Happy birthday to you, Matthew. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matthew. Oh my God, the flame is burning really high. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yay. Happy birthday, everybody. Uh, yeah, the candle is going a little bit ballistic at the moment. I don't know why. Oh, well. Oh, no, it's stabilized kind of stabilized. Um, let me take a sippy. Okay, you guys, do you remember, I don't know if some some of you watch my other channels. I, you know, do have a pop culture channel called Totally Jacob, and then I have a perfume channel called Essentially Jacob. And on the perfume channel, I just... Um, oh. Zara, thank you so much, my love. Zara Justina donated $10. Let me Happy pop your cherry, Zara. Jacob and Bunker fam, heart. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Let me pop your cherry. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Half of it flew. Half of it is here. It's like spinach from Popeye. I'm loving it. Thank you so much, Zara. Whoop, whoop. 
Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So do you remember? So anyway, for those of you who watched my essentially Deco Perfume channel, I live streamed last uh, Wednesday an entire segment celebrating the 100th uh, birthday year of Chanel number 22. Do you guys remember? And Debbie was in the chats and asked me, because I, so basically, let me show you. Let me show you where it's at. For this uh, this golden top for, for the occasion. And yes, I also have a silver one, but listen to this, you guys. I'm shook, shook to the core. Now, I was wearing this. Uh, it's from my archives. I've had this since 2004, 2003, 2004 in my fashion archives. So much, so many things are in my fashion archives that I don't, I even forget the brands that I have in my fashion archives. Like, it's insane. But anyway, so, okay. So here's the story. Debbie. Hey, CC Spy, how's it going, Loretta? Baci, amore. Merry Christmas to you and the family. You guys, Debbie asks me, this is, it's a cool top. Like, where is it from? And I kid you not, I was thinking of wearing this and I put it on for the Chanel number 22 birthday. Uh, but um, since I have this like almost 20 years now in my archives, I forgot what brand. So I told Debbie, I can't even remember anymore. And you could go check out that moment in the live stream on the other channel, right? Now, for today's video live stream, I was like, you know what? Let me wear the silver version for, you know, for Christmas. I keep saying Halloween, but anyway, because to me, Halloween is, it's my Christmas. So, and I'm like, oh, I'm losing a bobble. Hold on. And, um, and, and I'm like, I lift it up, right? And I'm like, this hand, you guys, listen. I'm like, this hand, I'm going to show you the, the logo. I'm like, this hand written logo, it's very familiar to me. Now, mind you, this was in New York back in 2004, 2003. I discovered this little tiny shop that had handmade stuff or stuff that people sewed together with a sewing machine by themselves. It was like a little selection of local designers up and coming or trying to become. This was like early 2000s, you guys. And the shop wasn't doing very well. I forgot the name. It's almost 20 years ago. I don't even remember the name of the store. The store closed down. I literally came there like the last week they were open and they were like selling out whatever was left in stock. And I bought these two. I bought a couple of things, but I bought these two and other things. And so I archived them. And now, now that I, you know, that she's on a diet, <clears throat> I could fit them again. I can fit 20 year old clothes again. It's a little bit of a snuggly fit, but I fit. But you guys, the logo is attached by hand and handwritten. This is how young the designer was. This designer now is at the top of the world. You guys, I'm shocked. First of all, the fact that I, <laughs> 20 years ago, already had an eye for this designer and bought this, this, not even knowing who they are. I had no clue who they were. And they wrote their own logo with their own hand, with a Sharpie on this thing. It's like my Madonna wearing um, um, a Keith Haring, a Keith, a Keith Haring moment, like, or Basquiat, or having like some Basquiat. Like, I'm like shocked to the core. So when I find out, found out, okay, does anybody know? Did anybody guess? Skinny legend, thank you. Um, this is insane, you guys. Hey, Shikma. Uh, a Merry Christmas to you too, my love. I'm like, I know this logo. I know this brand. I know this font. Like, what the hell? You guys, this is the beginning of... Let me not burn it up because I have a candle over there. I'm going to flip it now and show you the logo. You're going to... You're, I... I found out about this just like before the live stream, before the pre-show, and I teased it in the pre-show, but I almost fainted when I found out what I have here is the beginning of the career of none other than New York-based Let's zoom this in if we can. 
Telfar! You guys, this is Clemens Telfar's first work, one of his first works. He literally already had the logo. He literally already had that logo. He used it, he, it's, and he wrote it with his own hand. Let me come in closer without burning it on the candle. You guys, I am... So, first of all, I thought, oh, oh, hell no, I'm not going to put on the silver one. Now this thing has to go into a museum. But I'm like, you know what? I deserve to be in a museum too. So let me put it on. <laughs> like, I have early 2000 Telfar pieces, which Clemens probably, he probably sewed it all together, you know, with a sewing machine, but he did it himself because back then he wasn't, you know, on, you know, he was just experimenting with stuff. But the fact that he already had his logo, the fact that it was already, clear to him how he wanted his logo and that he did it by hand. And yes, thank you, Aisha. They look so good. I know how to, cons I know how to preserve stuff in archives. This, these pieces are 20 years old. I know how to treat archival pieces. Okay. But you guys, I am wearing Telfar from almost 20 years ago. Let that sink in. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it's insane. It's freaking insane. Okay? Like, I have no words. This, for me, was like, what a moment. First of all, it gave me a little bit more belief in myself because I was like, you know what? Sometimes friends and family, they tell me, oh, Deco, oh, you're not buying something wacky crazy again. Oh, there he goes again you know, seeing something in some piece that nobody else sees. That's just me. And now I'm just like, I have kind of like a little bit more of a confirmation of like, hey, keep doing you. You know, believe in yourself. If, if there's something that, that, that attracts you, that feels right to you, purchase it if you can afford it, obviously. But I was like, wow, these little pieces were waiting 20 years almost in my archives. You know, says the pattern is so now, right? Vel says, hey, girlies, am I coming through? Yeah, Vel, the spirit of Vel. Oh, my God, it's another Christmas miracle. Vel is in the house, y'all. Hi, Vel. Oh, hi, Asa. Hey, Tina. Hey, Rachel. Okay, another shout out to Rachel. Okay. Oh, my God, this is such an amazing live stream, though, so far. Okay, so, you guys, another moment we had in the number 22 100th birthday celebration, uh, I was, like, going through the history of the perfume. And then Rachel, who's now in the chats, was like, oh, did you know that Coco Chanel actually chose number 22 for herself before she chose number five? And she wanted number five to be sold, but she wanted personally to use number 22. And I hadn't heard this story before. And then Rachel said, hold on, hold on. I'm going to send you a link. And she sent me a link to... Uh, a YouTube video where uh, it was in connection with the Osmotech in Paris. Uh, there was an interview with somebody who allegedly apparently knows uh, or knew, knows some information about Ernest Beau, who created number 22. And it is said in this interview that this lady who has this podcast, uh, she interviewed somebody from the Osmotech, I guess. And the person from the Osmotech or somebody said the story. Yeah, Chanel first wanted 22 for herself because allegedly it was less abstract than number five. And she wanted that extra bombastic floral accord for herself. But because it was such a lovely fragrance, she decided to also sell it in her boutiques. So this is, of course, speculation, but it's super interesting that while we have these live streams, people come on the chats in the live and then this information, this would have never happened. I would have never found out, or at least I would not have found out now about this had it not been for Rachel in the live chats during the filming of the segment of the video and had she not seen the other video interview. So like, this is how community grows. So thank you so much, Rachel, for letting me know about that. That was like super amazing to find out about that. So yes, it's kind of speculation. We're still not sure, like 100% sure if Coco really chose Chanel number 22 for herself privately before she decided to sell it. But once the person continued explaining by saying, you know, because she was more into the floral accord, less into the abstract accord, then it kind of started making sense to me as well, being how much she loves her flowers, gardenias, camellias, just saying, 
there's, I feel there's something there. We still got to dig a little bit deeper to find out, but I think there's something there. Hey, Katie Brown. Happy holidays to you too, my love. Hey, Jonna Oates. Hey, v Sense. I remember working from Chanel and getting told the number 19 was created for her personal use. Correct, v Sense. Chanel number 19 was created for Coco's personal use. Oh, thank you, MXGX. Merry New Year to you too. Cheers. Yeah, Vel is real. Rachel says, yes, that's right. She interviewed Olivier, who works at the Osmotech. So thank you so much, Rachel. That was like amazing news. American Princess. Hi, everyone. Happy holidays. Hey, American Princess. Rachel says, the story uh, comes from Ernest Beau originally, like oral history, but has never been confirmed with documents. I heard later. Exactly. That's why I told you when you wrote me, I said, they're speculating about this. Could be true, but it's fascinating. Very fascinating. Mm. Oh my God, the coffee is giving me life, by the way. Get your merch at www.superdegov.com or link down below. Oh, so what a week this has been. Let me tell you. First of all, do you also have a feeling that like as a YouTube content creator, it, yes, I'm live today. IG Elisa Medinag. Hi, how's it going, sweetie? Happy holidays. Oh, thumb up the live stream if you're liking it, guys. Yes, yes, let's celebrate this holiday. I told you, like, I'm going to go live. I'm not going to let my people be alone on Christmas. Hello. But this is so interesting because Christmas, holiday, whatever you want to call it, Hanukkah, you know, it's it, it becomes very, for YouTube creators, content creators, like, we get the most trolls coming in right around Christmas because that's when people are kind of more depressed and lonely. And then they just kind of let out whatever they have inside on others. And now that there's internet, of course, it's like super easy to vent at other people because you're invisible, you're not, you know. And usually I'm kind of very to the point. If I respond to these people, it's a slam dunk and we move on or I don't respond at all. But this year I thought to myself, well, hold on a minute. Why is everybody else allowed to be depressed and moody? But the content creators are never allowed to be depressed and moody. Like the content creators are never allowed to retaliate. Like my friend Jocelyn, the real Shaquin, by the way. Hi, real Shaquin, if you're watching, I hope you're feeling better. She just sent me a couple of like uh, screenshots uh, just yesterday of somebody like being really mean to her on her own channel. And you guys, Jocelyn is like such a refined lady. She would never, like she would never be ratchet like me. And so she was very, very kind and polite how she answered to that person, trying to make them understand, hey, you're really like being mean to me right now on my own channel. And then the person was like, you know, pulling a Karen move, like the typical, well, you're making a, a public video. So what do you expect? Like you, you have to be available for scrutiny. But then that same person would not take criticism back. And I'm like, you see, this is the problem. People think they're entitled just because you're making a public video to post whatever they want and say like whatever mean stuff they want about you to you in your comment section because and then in their excuses well you're making a public video you should expect it but then they get super angry and offended if you give them their own shit back at them and i'm like honey boo boo cha if you're commenting with a public comment on a public video telling me well you're a public figure in a public video so you yeah like a criticism like duh I'm like, yeah, duh, you're leaving a public comment on a public video. So duh to you, Miss Thing, because I can criticize you back. It, and you get offended. Well, it's I'm giving you your own medicine. So and I was thinking to myself today, you know what? Why do content creators like, oh, we're not allowed to be moody. We're not allowed to be depressed. Listen, honey, it's the holiday season for all of us. We're all going through things. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I dressed up like a little tiny Christmas ball and it's all cutesy and fun and games, but I have feelings too. We all go through stuff. Trust you me, I have my baggage to carry right now and I carry it. I try to entertain you guys to deliver some good and positive times and it is fabulous and I love doing it. But I'm like, I'm just human too. So I thought to myself, well, you know what? I'm, the troll who happened to comment on my channel today was really unfortunate, very, very unlucky because that troll caught me in the moment right when I was thinking, hold on a minute, I'm not going to let this happen anymore. <laughs> so my apologies to the troll, but I 
went ballistic. I went nuclear on that person. So first of all, the person was homophobe, right? So they said to me, what is this woman with a beard freak? That was the comment. Hold on. I'm in she. Uh, don't do this at home, kids. Okay. This is just not to ruin my makeup while I, anyway. Uh, oh, let me see are. Okay. So they called me a freak, you know, bearded lady, blah, blah, blah. Cause it, what? Cause I have makeup and long hair girl. Really? I like, come on. The world is evolving. We're not that, you know, anyway. Hey, Jesse, how's it going, sweetie? Um, Debbie says that idiot got the clean version of LMAO. Oh my God. Let me tell you. Okay, so yeah, a uh, bearded lady freak. I kid you not, I was like, I am a voodoo priestess. Be careful who you mess with. <laughs> I don't want to say I cursed them or I cast a spell. I cannot even say that because obviously we're not allowed to do that on YouTube. So I didn't do any of that. I did not. But. Hey, Thomas, how's it going? Christmas Joy being sent from Scotland. Ah, hello, sweetie. Thank you. Honey Bun Books. What a terrible comment. So mean. You're amazing. Thank you so much, my love. I literally told them, you have no love in your heart, nor your soul. You will forever be alone. You know, like something like you're going to die alone and miserable. <laughs> and I was like, that's my gift to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, are we not allowed to cast spells on YouTube? No, you're not allowed to wish something mean on others, basically, is the gist. Like, you can't say, like, for example, I think it's also against community guidelines to say something like, uh, you know how some YouTube channels say, like, if you don't subscribe now, you're going to have a terrible week or, or your cat is going to die or some shit like that. Like, you're not allowed to do that. First of all, it's terrible to do that. Don't ever do that. But it's also like, um, almost like blackmailing people to do stuff that's against community guidelines so there's that but then also yeah you know what i mean it's just tacky but i'm like hold on a minute you just called me a freak you just did your passive aggressive homophobe thing on me by you know calling me you know the bearded lady and hence i am a freak because i'm the bearded lady i'm like no you're gonna end up all alone and that's that and yeah, thank you, Jesse. I stood up for myself. Now, I know that then I get criticism because then people say like, oh my God, he's like so many in the comments. I'm like, I'm super sweet and kind in the comments if you're super sweet and kind. Also, if you have constructive criticism, I take it and I learn from it. But just, that's not constructive criticism. Just calling somebody a freak? Come on, you got, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm like, I'm done with it. Just because you're depressed because it's the holiday season and you think you can just like vomit and barf your frustration on top of content creators, that doesn't mean that us content creators have to take it. But this all to say that um, the real Shaquin was like super kind and, you know, and I said to her, listen, you know, she has also, of course, her profession and she doesn't do just YouTube. So she's like, listen, I got to, you know, it's, I got to protect myself. And I totally get that. But I'm like, at the same time, you can't always let people walk over you because if, if you let them walk over you, then you kind of teach them that they can. And that's not cool either. That's not cool either. Like at a certain point, you got to like put your foot down and say no. Like we got to go. You know what I mean? There's the dough. You harvest what you sow. Thank you, Aza. Yes. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's hate speech and you're not allowed to do hate speech. But also the funny thing is like if you're commenting on my channel for the first time. Oh, by the way. Hi, Andreas. How's it going? Merry Christmas from Austria, everyone. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. I wished an extra set of twins and... In someone, it's a blessing. Oh my God, Gloria. Yes, he got the clean version, Debbie. Oh my God, now I know what you're saying because I wrote Debbie a DM. <laughs> Debbie knows the full version. Yeah, he got the clean version. Debbie got the, yeah, Debbie got the full version. Uh, Rachel says, yes, hate speech. Yeah, it's easy. You have to, that's true. Yeah, just, just join Jacob. You look so magical. Hey, Jessica Ret Retali. Thank you so much, sweetie. Happy holiday. Mm. Zara says awful. I'm telling you, babes. But having said that, like, there's ways of dealing with it. Like, I, for example, my friend Romina, Romina Rose May, shout out to you, love. Hi, subscribe to, to, to Romina, everybody, and to Zara, and to The Real Shaquin. Um, so Romina is, like, super cool with comments. Like, she, 
acknowledges them. Like, sh- she read them, but she's not gonna... She's above it. You know what I mean? She's above it. I'm the type... I'm not above it. <laughs> I mean, I'm above it. But I'm, but I'm like, oh, you want to play? Okay. Okay, we can play. We can play, girl. We can play. Here, want to wanna play catch? Here's a frisbee for you. <laughs> it has razor blades all over it, though. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You want to play? We can play. Oh, my God. This candle is giving me life, by the way. Um... Hey, Laura, how's it going? Merry Christmas to you, too. Thomas says, no room for nasty comments here. I personally love your style and personality. Thank you so much, Thomas. The thing is, by the way, everybody, subscribe to Thomas's channel as well. Thomas is a huge fan of Louis Vuitton. He has a great channel. The uh, Thomas talks. Um, uh, the um, Like, Thomas, you're also, like, super composed always. Like, you never, you know what I mean? You never lose it. I then, on the other hand, think to myself, like, if we analyze other YouTubers, like, for example, if you if you check out Trisha Paytas, pre-baby or Nico Cado Avocado. Okay, I'm not going to say anything more about that. But anyway, um, like they go, HRH collection, like they go ballistic. It's part of their character. And it seems like they push it so far with, with, um, with the crazy attitude that kind of at the beginning, people are shocked and maybe like say, oh my God, terrible, blah, blah, blah. But then people get addicted to it. They want to see it because they're so over the top. So it's kind of like people accept the fact that they are totally cuckoo. Then you have people who are very composed and kind and polite. And no matter how you poke at them, they're going to stay noble. You know what I mean? And then there's a person like me. Like, I can do the totally hyper noble version, but I can also go ballistic. And because I have both, because I'm, you know, multidimensional, people get really confused. And like, wait, hold on a minute. You were like totally like different. Like, well, yeah. I'm nice if you're nice. I'm not nice if you're not nice. You know, I don't ignore it. Also, I was seeing on TikTok lately, a lot of people posting, also on Reels, people posting videos about like the different Zodiac signs. Like if you're, like basically they made a list of six, uh, 12 Zodiac signs, but six Zodiac signs that are always kind of the politically correct ones and six Zodiac signs that always like say what they mean. Like, for example, they put, I remember Scorpio, was in the list of people who just like going to say to your face that they hate you. But then cancer, I'm cancer, June baby. They put cancer in the list of always just like smiling, polite, not giving any, you know, I'm like, that is so, that could not be more far away from the truth. You guys, hold on, let me just fresh my makeup. Like, because I'm like, I'm not the person who's going to, like, if you throw shade at me or if you're, like, being really mean to me or something, I'm not going to be that person who's going to be like, mm-hmm. oh, lovely, yeah. Girl, I will slam you to the dough, at, to the wall, and it's going to be like, mm-mm. So I'm like, I don't know if they got the cancer right. Hey, Blonde and Chatty, how's it going? Hi, everyone. I've been online for a couple of weeks. I've been back in hospital going through problems. T- uh, bad time. Great to be back. Enjoy the bunker. So i oh, I hope you're doing better, my love. I hope you're doing better and happy holidays despite the pain. It is what it is, girl. Like, you know, life is a doozy, but I do hope that you are feeling better and that um, you get a little bit of joy out of this crazy Christmas tree ornament blabbering in your screen right now. Um, Jesus says, speedy recovery to blonde and chatty. Ah, They don't know us cats. Right, chick mom? Hey, hey, Zolly, how's it going? How's it going, pap? Jesse, is it Deco? What blush are you wearing? I love it. Oh, thank you so much, Jesse. So, you guys, okay, this is a really good question, Jesse. Oh, Jesseleen. Okay, Jesse, hold that thought. Let me just go to Jesseleen for a second. The real Shaquin has joined the chats. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Hope everyone affected by the polar vortex storm is safe and warm. Uh, uh, Jesseleen, were you with us when I was talking about you five seconds ago? Because if not, I will, I will quickly recap. Because I want Jesseleen to be up to speed. Because I have a, a feeling you, were, you weren't. Okay, Justine. So I was talking about people being mean in the comments during uh, the holiday season. And I said that you and I had a little exchange about that. And then I said, like, how nice and composed you are. And then I said how ballistic I went. And I, I also told everybody to go to subscribe to your channel. And I also wished you a speedy recovery. And I'm re-wishing you a speedy recovery right now. So that's kind of the short gist of the story. But it, the conversation was a little bit longer. But yeah, you guys. So anyway, that's just lean. And also now let me go to Jesse. So let me just say, 
Jesse Greer. Okay, so I use this. I use two uh, main blushes, uh, but then I, I switch them up. I have more, but kind of my main two is Malice, which is the one I'm using today by Chanel. It is number 71. Malice. However, these are double baked. So, um, where's my brush? Hold on. Okay. So this is my blush brush. So the oil of the face and everything. I'm not the person who's going to wash this every time I use it. Sorry. I'm just that bohemian hoe. Okay. So, but you use it, use it, use it, put it on your face. You get a little bit of oil from your face on the brush. You use it. So basically it creates kind of that like patina where at a certain point, no matter how much you use the brush, you're not going to get any product off anymore. Some people use the trick of the sticky tape. You put tape on it and then you, it doesn't work for me. Also, I don't want to have the chemicals of the tape left over on the product. So I'm, I'm a bit iffy, but I found that what best, what works best for me, and it's a bit gross. Well, it's not, it's your own fingers. You wash your hands and then I just scra scrape the surface off with my nail. That kind of patina that kind of, you know, compacted the blush. Every couple of weeks, I just scrape off the surface and then it becomes all fresh and soft again. And in fact, I did that today. That's why my blush is stronger today than last week, just because I just scraped it off today. So the real intense color of the blush is this. But after I've been using it for a couple of weeks, it creates that patina again. And then I got to scrape it off again and then it gets all fresh. So this is kind of like when you buy it new, this is how fresh it is. And then you got to scrape it off from time to time. The Real Shaquille says, have you guys used the cream stick blush from Chanel? I haven't. Is it good? But you know, I love the smell of this one. The smell of roses on this one is to die for. Aza says, just scrape the top layer. That's what I do. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And then I wash my hand. Of course, Vsen says, use a clean mascara wand to make the layer go away. Vsen, that is genius. My Chanel says associate gave me a couple of extra little heads. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to do that next time. I'm not going to use my nail. That is brilliant. You guys, V-Sense is on to something. Use a, just an extra little head of a mascara, like one of those little extra ones that they give you without it being inside of the liquid of the mascara, but the actual... Great idea. So, Jesse, I'm using... Um... Oh, my God. The smell of roses and their blush. Nothing beats a Chanel blush. So... Malice, number 71. And uh, the second one that I use... Uh, so Malice is a light, dewy, soft kind of pink, right? But malicious in a way, you know, Malice. But then if I want a little bit darker, something darker, if I do my makeup a little bit thicker, then um, I have another shade that I go for, which is... Um, a little bit more bronzy, maybe a little bit more shiny, a little bit more, well, what does it have? Like, it has a bit of sheer to it, like a little glitter kind. It's not really glitter, but it has a little bit of speckles, of gold speckles. And that would be reflex, like a gag reflex. That would be this one. Of course, on camera, it doesn't show as much uh, right now. Like, it's a bit darker in real life, but a reflex is... Number 82. So this is the slightly darker one I use. And then there was a limited edition that I use if I do really dark makeup uh, called Brun de Russie, like Russian brown from Chanel. It was one of their blushes from like a season ago, like a seasonal piece. Yeah, those are the kind of the main three I use, but I do have a lot of them. They're just like all still new in box. I haven't opened them yet. Catherine of Sweden. Thank you so much, my love. Happy fall holidays to you too. Yeah. The Real Shaquille says, it's really good. I use number 23, the Cream Stick Blush from Chanel. And how's it going, my love? Debbie sending us an eggplant, living ferret. Hey, Boba, 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 how's it going? There are brush cleaner that you can spray that dries in a few minutes, so brush is ready and the oil is removed. <gasps> I'm going to have to check that out. That sounds good, too. Rachel says, love the cream brush, uh, blush. Shoot, I don't have either of these. Glad I asked, is Jesse. I mean, you got to check that if they work for your complexion. But, you know, yeah. I love these, these shades. Uh, are they made in Italy, Diego? <laughs> Tina, no, they're made in France. Made in France. So Reflex is made in France. <clears throat> Malice 
is also made in France, and Brun de Russie is also made in France. Sharona, how's it going? Jacob, you look fresh as a rose. Ah, thank you so much, Sharona. Welcome. Welcome, sweetie. Pop says, uh, baked products are all made in Italy, says Debbie. Well, not this one. Pop says, I wasn't in here in a good while, but I'm so glad I'm back. Life's been a biatch and uh, in the last few weeks. Had a surgery as well. Oh my God, work sucks. And I could go on, but so good. Happy to be here. Oh man, I'm so happy you're back with us. I'm sorry to hear, but listen, it's been a doozy. This year in general, you guys, am I the only one who thinks that this year has been terrible? <laughs> now, the you know, my movie with Vivian Westwood, Art Lovers Unite, that was a good thing. That was kind of like some sun at the end of the tunnel. But let me tell you, the year has been difficult. I've had some, you know, issues in the family, like some sickness in the family, um, YouTube algorithm dying on me. So basically the AdSense revenue is half of what, of what it used to be. Oof. Talk about a recession. Then the weather is terrible. I got COVID this year. I was sick for three months. So three months of my life were gone. That also happened this year. Um, then I got sick again, but not with COVID a couple of weeks ago. And then I had to cancel one live stream, if you remember. That was like 10 days of being really sick again. Um, it's been difficult. It's been a year, you know. And I'm glad it's over. I'm also looking forward to the future, but it's just kind of so sad because we always think like, oh, yay, the new year, we're, the beautiful new things are going to happen. Like, how do we know? And it's always this like anticipation, like, oh, the new year is going to be amazing. And then like you wake up on the 1st of January, like maybe hungover, and you're like, oh, everything is still shitty like it was the day before. <laughs> but we always have, we, because we're humans, you guys, we have hope. We always hope for the better. We always think things are going to get better, even when they don't. And we are that little animal that really believes. And I'm, I, listen, I fall into that category. I'm not like putting myself above anybody. I fall into that category. I'm that, I am that person that is going to sit there on the 31st being convinced like an idiot every single year that when I wake up the next morning, yes, it's going to be fabulous. And then, like, I wake up the next day and I'm like, oh, hold on. It's just as shitty as yesterday. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bond and Chatty, for the membership. Just saying. Uh, wait, what was the chat? How to read? Uh, do your Chanel bake powders crack and break? No, they don't. But I haven't used up so much. Maybe when they get thinner, they will. They might. Uh, Aza says, I work in beauty and these two are best sellers plus one peachy one, I think, three, five, one. Which ones are best sellers? Oh, Reflex and Malice. Uh, Vel says, I love the shade uh, Rose Glacier. I have that one as well, my dear Vel. I love it too. I just haven't used it yet. Tina says, thank you. Oh, wow, says Debbie. Rachel says, my Chanel baked powders never break or crack. Things have changed, says Debbie. Tina says, I thought so too, Debs. Jesus just says, this year has been a mess. It passed super quickly too. It did pass quickly. But then again, the older we get, the quicker time flies. Jesus, welcome to the club. Uh, <laughs> Rachel says, can anyone recommend their favorite Chanel mascara? I'm still not 100% happy. Okay. I just have a sample, right? But I am obsessed. Where did it go? With the, oh my God. I am obsessed. I just have a sample, you guys. So it's tiny, but the newest one. This thing lasts. This thing is, a, it, it, it's cement. I have it on right now. It's the Noir Allure. It's the Allure Mascara, the one with the click opener, but uh, the little sample doesn't have... So I, I'm using the sample since weeks now. The sample is really very generous. I Thank you, Chanel, for giving me the sample. The sample is so generous because like, it lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks. I keep using it and using it. So this one definitely passes my test in terms of it doesn't smudge or smear. You got to be careful when you're applying it. If you're too fast at applying it and you end up touching your eyelids or something, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult to then clean it off unless you don't put makeup on top or something. Depends on what you do first, what sort of makeup you do before you do the mascara. If you do makeup before you do the mascara, technically you should. But anyway, um, yeah, Allure, this is the one for me. Baba says, uh, Boba, Boba, Boba says, uh, Jacob, there was some makeup content creators talking about YouTube being an issue, but... 
what was new was they had view counts change on them with screen shots. Lost thousands of views. What do you mean screenshots? You mean thumbnails? They had views counts change on them. Oh, pop! Thank you so much for the donation. Zoli donated $10. Merry Christmas, Jacob. Love you loads. Heart, let's hope 2023 will be better to all of us. Oh, thank you so much, my love. So generous of you. Let me pop your chair. Pop, are you ready to get your cherry popped? Hey, maybe the week was tough, but honey, this cherry, mm, it needs popping, honey. It needs popping desperately. Oh! Was it as good for you as it was for me, baby? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Let me tell you. Oh, uh, Sam's Nation says, I had COVID in 2020. I was in the hospital sick for one whole year. I recovered in 2021, February. I'm so grateful. God's blessings. So glad you're with us. Glad you recovered. And you and you got sick in the time when it was super dangerous, when there was like nothing. Nobody knew anything really about it. So good that you made it. Yes, I feel you, Jacob, says ER too. No different. Just don't change the calendar, says Debs. Rachel says, as a thank you, Zoli says, I was so excited for 2020, for example. And look what was waiting for us. So... I'm basically hopeless at this point. I know. I'm also very hesitantly optimistic. I'm still optimistic. I'm still that person. But I'm like, let me have my celebration on the 31st. Let me be happy about the new year coming. Great, great new changes up ahead for us. And then when the new year actually hits, let me be disillusioned. You know, let me have my grumpy moment on the 1st of January. Like, let me have my funny moment on the 31st of December where I make myself believe everything is going to be amazing. And then let me have my grumpy moment on the 1st of January. Like that's basically my tradition, you know, at this point. Um, lots of channels are dying out. Remember that Mar girl? Oh, yes, Jesus. Who's still... Oh, Catherine of Sweden. Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you Catherine so much. So generous, my love. Let me pop your cherry. $20. Love and light. Oh, my love. Thank you so much. We still got to talk about the movie and HBO. Or Warner, what was it? Yas, Queen! Oh, Rachel, thank you so much for the super chat. $9.99 super chat from Rachel K. Oh, let, let's read. Jacob, I'm new here. What are the ways we can best support your work and channel? Thank you for mascara recommendation. Um, thank you so much, my love. Let me pop your cherry first. Oh! Oh, okay, here goes. I caught it. You flew the coop almost, Rachel. So let me tell you. So, um... Donations are the best. Super chats, YouTube takes 45%. And of course, becoming a member uh, or a patron. And that's how you, su you support the channel. You give like a, you give me, you give the channel, hence also me through the channel, a steady income. <laughs> because, you know, with AdSense revenue on YouTube, things just fluctuate all the time. So the only stability, the only true stability my channel has is the pledges from the memberships and Patreon. That's the only stability. And of course, any time any member or patron can just leave. So even that's like not a certainty, but at least, you know, it's something because YouTube can just turn off um, advertisements any day. And then, and then what, you know what I mean? But at least you still have your members and your patrons. And then also during the live streams, all of the tips that come in, uh, all of the uh, super chats that come in, all of that helps tremendously. I would like to remind you, by the way, how amazing it was when I announced that, uh, my movie with Vivian Westwood and Patrick J. Thomas was going to premiere at the world premiere at the Melbourne documentary film festival this past summer. When I announced it and I said, you guys, but, you know, right now, right after the pandemic, airfare is so expensive. Uh, like, I mean, economy was like six thousand dollars. I mean, it was insane. And I said, you know what? I don't think I'll, I'll make it. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. And then everybody pitched in. And then, you know, we made some merch so that like you can buy the merch and then proceeds from the merch went to buying airplane tickets to, to fly uh, Patrick and I to Melbourne and you guys made it happen. Like we ended up in Melbourne at the world premiere of the movie, thanks to you guys. So you make all of the difference. Like if it was just from YouTube AdSense revenue alone, we would have never made it to Melbourne. So it does make a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. 
every little contribution helps. You know what I mean? Like some, you know, somebody can, you know, pitch in a dollar. Somebody can pitch a pitch in a hundred dollars. I remember we remember you guys like a year ago. We had uh, that funny conceptual live stream where we had the factre the number two plus three factory bottle and and it had price increases happening every couple of minutes and people were so supportive of the concept and they loved it it was like an art concept live stream and i think so the 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 bottles started at around twenty dollars but then with the price increases i think we reached like eight hundred dollars per bottle but i think the last bottle that sold was i can't remember 150 dollars or 180 dollars like it was insane so it like, you know what I mean? So thanks to you guys, all of this is possible. It, literally, that's the best way to support. And of course, to keep, you know, commenting under the videos, keeping the interaction going, because the algorithm loves to see interaction under the videos. Thumb up the live stream, that helps a lot as well. Ah, oh, Francesca, thank you so much. Francesca Furen donated $10. Merry Christmas, Jacob and all the fashion bunker aficionados. Oh, um, thank Snowflake. you so much, my love, so generous. Let me pop your cherry. Oh, this one. Okay, this one was a dud. Hold on. The green ones are duds sometimes. Okay, let me pop a silver one. Ah, got it. Yes, queen. Woo -woo. Thank you so much, Francesca. <laughs> oh, Derek, thanks for subscribing. Hold on. I popped a cherry in this direction. Just got to be careful that none of it falls on the candle. And I just lost my little ta tinsel task. The rich lady mole today is uh, a tinsel mole. And I kind of roll it together and then I kind of put it here, but it fell off. So I'm going to put it on again, but it keeps falling off y'all. Wait, hold on. Let me try to tie it. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been a struggle, but you know what? It was a challenge that I was glad to kind of take on. Just because, yeah, like, you know, Nobody actually promised us that life was going to be easy. You know what I mean? No promises made. You know how life is. Life's, you know, life, life can go either way. You know what I mean? So I always try to take it with a pinch, with a grain of philosophy, you know, and just be like, listen, Jane Davenport, also a lovely supporter of the fashion market. By the way, she has beautiful art supplies. She is an artist herself and an illustrator. She has a huge Instagram account, by the way. Jane Davenport, go check her out. She gifted me this at the premiere in Melbourne. The Christian Dior Candle Snuffer. It's like the, the tip of their bottles, their perfume bottles. Then you kind of put it on the can. And I kind of like to use it here for this Christmas occasion to do the... It's a magical Christian Dior moment, darling. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> so... Right? Jesus says, lots of channels are dying out. Remember that Mar girl who stole your content? She's getting less than 2,000 views. Channel dead. I told you. Voodoo Priestess. You're welcome, Mar. Oh, Chanelta. My love, thank you so much. Chanelta donated six dollars. Merry Christmas, Jacob and Bunker Crew. Y'all, thank you so much, Chanelta. Let me pop your cherry, Chanelta. Madonna style. Look it up. Ah! <laughs> yes, Queen. Oh my God, did you guys see an interview from the '90s with Cher, where she openly, like, the guy asks her, like, about Madonna? And she openly calls Madonna the C word. And she said she's such a spoiled brat. Well, in chatty membership, 15 months renewal tier one says such a great group. Thank you, Jacob. You uplift us. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Blonde and Chatty. Thank you. Y'all. And she said, you know, she's she has such a talent for business. Oh, thank you for becoming a member, a uh, patron, RK. Thank you. And she said, you know, I'm, she's like, she's such a good businesswoman. Like, and she's made it so far. This was in the 90s, right around her erotica era. And she's like, she's made it so far. She's achieved so much in her life. Like, she has everything. Why does she have to be such a 
C word every time, you know, because like she had, she was at some dinner together with her. She's like, she behaved terribly poorly. She's acting like a diva, like a princess. She doesn't need to be so insecure. <gasps> Share through like some major shade. I was living for it. Anyway, just saying. Uh, v sense, we love you, Jacob. I don't know how you film so much and find the energy to put a smile on people's faces. Oh my God, my love. Thank you so much. Listen, you have no clue how it is for me preparing, getting ready for the live streams. You know, I, every, every time there's a live stream for me, it's like the first time I am calm right before the storm, but I'm always nervous about it. Okay. What are the topics? What are we going to talk about? Are people going to be interested in tuning in? Are we going to like, like, it's always terrifying, but then every time the camera is on and the show begins and you guys send me love and energy, I literally like a vampire i eat it up <laughs> it makes me so happy you literally made me live through the pandemic like i would have gone insane had i not had my live streams with you guys for the past two years because it's like like what else to do you know what i mean like you locked up at home depressed all alone i'm like no let's create a community like let's share some vibes you know let's share some energy so for me how i managed to be so energetic during um, these live streams, even though I work so much offline and I'm posting all the videos and all these different channels that I have, I managed to be so energetic because you guys give me that energy. Like it's that simple. It's like literally that it, the equation, this mathematic, ma mathematic, and I hate math. I'm not a math person, but this mathematical equation is a mathematical equation that I know very well. It's a simple one and it's a very effective one for me. It works. I'm the type of person when I receive love from other people, I bloom and I can, I can, I give you ever, I'm a very giving person. I give you ever, you show me some love, you show me a, a, a little bit of love like this and I will give you the world. Oh, Asa, thank you so much Excellent for the donation. Card donated $6 and 40 cents. Merry Christmas, Jacob. Oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you too, sweet. Let pop your cherry. We got it. Yes, queen. Oh my gosh. This one also flew all over the place. Thank you so much, sweetie. So that's the energy I go on. Now, once the cameras go off and the interaction stops, I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then I like, and I sleep for two days. <laughs> There's no energy coming. Donna Donahue says, hey D, I'm back and been sick for two weeks. Also, you look fabulous and have a great face. I can't wait for this year to be over. Love ya. Oh, Donna Donahue, welcome back. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. I'm also glad the year's over. <laughs> Definitely. Let me tell ya. Merry Christmas, everyone, says Liz. Merry Christmas. Boba, boba, boba. Meaning they had their views total go down, say, from 16,000 to, say, 12,000. And the screenshot of the count that was higher than a day later, 12,000, contacted YouTube and YouTube is silent. Oh, I see. Boba, boba, boba. Thank you for explaining that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm delayed with the chats, you guys, because I want to get to the, you know, as much as I can. That's why. But keep them coming. Keep the chat rolling and thumb up the live stream. It helps a lot. Uh, the algorithm. Boba Boba says, keep an eye on your on your view total. It may disappear. Like how subscribers are disappearing on you mysteriously. Yes, YouTube is doing something sketchy. I am losing subscribers. Like, no, that's the wrong. I'm not losing subscribers. I am gaining more and more subscribers, but it's slowed down. But what I'm saying is a lot of my subscribers contact me telling me that they woke up one day and they were unsubscribed. They did not unsubscribe. They got unsubscribed. They don't know how. And this has been an issue for years now. Blonde and Chatty says, some of the chat isn't working as try to send a super chat and it said the system isn't working. That is so bizarre, Blonde and Chatty. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, you guys. Chunky Shu says, I'm pretending I didn't read the Nostradamus prediction for 2023. Girl, Nostradamus made a lot of predictions and a lot of them did not come true. What if 45%? That's ridiculous. I know. What if? Yeah. YouTube takes 45% for the super chats. How chic. How's it going, sweetie? Hello. Just joined. Merry Christmas, Deco. Merry Christmas to you too. Hey, Ling. Merry Christmas. Bon and Chatty says, maybe a good thing then. Rachel says, thank you. I'll join your Patreon. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Zoe says, I thought YouTube took a lot until I realized TikTok takes 65% off of gifts during lives. Absolutely. Meo. Meo. Debbie says, thumb up the live. Ben says, 6,000. That's crazy. Yeah economy. Gloria says, uh, for two people though, uh, I saw that a few months ago, it was amazing 
Thank you, Blonde and Chetty says, I really hope you have been recognized more now as a fashion expert art lover after the film. Not really. <laughs> it takes more than that, I think, uh, for people to be, uh, become aware. Hey, Madame Pomerose, how's it going? Hello, 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 Rebel Hot. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you. How are you? And Catherine of Sweden says, the fashion bunker has got me through some dark times. Let me tell you, I love the courtroom coverage, the Aussie coffees. So much to be thankful for. Oh, my love. Thank you so much. The Aussie coffees were amazing. By the way, next week, I might have a little coffee time with you. It's just a little something. something. I'm telling you, we're, we're heading on. We're going into new new territories. So the Fashion Bunker is going to have a lot of things, a lot of new moments coming. So, you know, don't jump the ship just yet. OK, stay with us. Debbie says, may we hear the Bubbles music again today? Debbie, my love, for you, anything. Let's play Bubbles, the bot, thanking the mods. A special thanks to the mods in the fashion bunker. Thanks to Debbie, Jesus, Audrey, Asia, Nicole, and guest Bubbles loves you. That was Bubbles thanking all the mods for keeping us safe in the chats. I love it. And now we're going to play Bubbles the Bot with the voice of Jizzus. <laughs> Holiday tune. Bubbles, Jizzus, hit it. Chow, 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 chow. Chow, 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 chow. Chow, 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 chow. Cha 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 cha. Baby Yoda, are you gonna tell us cha? Yeah. No, I need you to say cha. Like 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 you like you know how to do it. Like you know how you do it. Like you say cha cha. Can you do cha? Listen, you can get a chicken nugget later, but you gotta say cha. Okay. Okay. Can you say cha? Can you say cha? <laughs> Good boy. There you go. That was a cha, 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 cha. And now let's play Bubbles singing the song Dying Ferret. Hit it. Dying Ferret. Dying Ferret. Lovely Bubbles. Oh, such a star. Bubbles the bot, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Blonde Chatty says, you rocked it at Melbourne. It didn't allow the, uh, this organization to phase you. Oh, I did not let that phase me. Not one bit. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, I didn't. Oh, Virtual Flower, how's it going? Happy holidays to you too. And um, Rachel says, ah, that's wild. That was wild, right? <laughs> Cher is real. Oh, yeah. She always keeps it real. Kev says, Cher is legend. Jesus says, Cher is real. Aisha says, not heard this Cher story. Aisha, I literally sent it in the, like, it's in the, you know what I mean? In the chat. In the, in the group chat. Pause it. Cher wasn't wrong, though. Was, was she? No, she was not. Madame says, well, Cher isn't wrong. Your live stream and talking live is such a gift. You're doing amazing. Oh, how chic. You're so kind. Thank you so much. My God, Wendy Williams, I'm burping and farting. Well, farting not yet, but I just burped. Uh, <laughs> after drinking coffee. Catherine Chow, how's it going, sweetie? Uh, Brittany Heavenly, we would have gone insane too without you. Oh, my love, thank you. We kept each other somewhat sane. Totally, Debs. Rachel King Hearts, Catherine Hearts, Aisha Hearts, ER says, oh, I'm telling you. Oh, Jacob, you were there for us all during the pandemic. It was, it was awesome, right? It was a good, it was, it was, it was the worst of times. It was the best of times. Blonde and Chatty says, oh, wow, you are so professional, better than most TV presenters. I'd rather watch you any day. And we have a lovely group that respects each other. Thank you so much, Blonde and Chatty. Hey, CCs. Hey, Asa, what said, said that was a good cherry. Uh, it popped. Uh, yeah. Your perfumes reviews keep me company. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you. Jesus says, almost 59K subs. Yes, we're almost at 59,000. The subscribers slowed down. We were supposed to reach 60,000 by the end of the year, but alas, the algorithm kicked in and, you know, messed it up. Uh, so we won't have a 60K celebration this year unless a miracle, another miracle happens before New Year's Eve. 
uh, other, but uh, otherwise it's probably going to be somewhere in February <laughs> or March. That's how slow it's going at the moment. The pre-show today was really great today, you guys. I, I shot. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Hope more of you can join. Johnny says, Merry Christmas. Gustavo, I have to... Hi, Johnny. Hey, Gustavo. I have to subscribe to your channel every month when I see I'm no longer subscribed. Why does YouTube do that? It's, they've been doing it for years. We need to get to 100k subs. Yes, Blonde and Chatty. From your mouth to God's ears. And uh, Gloria, song, 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 right? The melody is really cute. It's adorable. Yeah, Jesus just sang for us. Whoop, whoop, mods. Cha, Jesus. Baby Yoda. Ha, ha. Okay, stubborn. Yeah. Baby Yoda wanted more screen time. I know, Baby Yoda is always such... Listen, Baby Yoda, you know what I mean? Baby Yoda, you know what I mean? Uh, Yoda is such a diva. Thank you so much, fun, says Debbie. Oh, thank you, Debs. Aisha says, given Mariah Carey a run for her money. Gloria says, oh my God, die in ferret. Selena says, Merry Christmas, everyone in Daco. Merry Christmas to you too, Selena. By the way, Selena, I'm not in London. <laughs> I was in London when I shot those videos. So, uh, by the way, you guys, expect more shopping vlogs from London coming on my channel. Uh, some fabulous little video lets. So, but I'm not in London anymore. But those videos were shot in London. You know, I always post later, you know. So, don't be sad, anybody. I, I was in London literally just for like a couple of days for work. And I was on a very tight schedule. And then I had to leave London. And I'm going to explain it now to you. I'm saying to you guys, I'm not in London anymore. But like when somebody under my videos posts, oh, welcome to London, I just politely say thank you. I don't explain every time and every comment. Like, I'm not in London anymore. I'm not in London anymore. You know what I mean? But I'm not in London anymore. <laughs> but expect a couple more videos from London on my channel. And they're going to be super fun. There's going to be, there's going to be a really good one. <clears throat> Luxury bag shopping at TK Maxx. With Jacob. Oh my God. I saw used Birkins, not in TK Maxx, but. Uh, yeah. Chatty says, officially Christmas Day in the UK now, and we're spending it with Super D. Whoop, whoop, yay! Merry Christmas to whoever celebrates it. And whoever doesn't, forget about it. <laughs> forget I ever mentioned it. <laughs> The Cervantes, Feliz Navidad. Thank you so much, amigo. CC says, so entertaining. Zol says, I swear, this live is the best Christmas gift. Oh, thank you so much. Madame says, is the new changes coming to the channel vlogs of Jacob dressed as Peppa Pig of the White Lotus? Oh my God. Okay. Madame, do you follow me on Instagram? I have no clue. Uh, I just shared an, a reel like yesterday somebody made a Peppa Pig dressed as Jennifer Coolidge in the White Lotus. And there's the, you know, da, 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 da. I can't do the, the intro song of the show. Well, Peppa Pig is on her little motor, on her Vespa, dressed as Jennifer Coolidge. Oh my God, that reel is gold. I want to be dressed up as Peppa Pig, dressed up as Jennifer Coolidge on a Vespa. Yes. Pages, happy holidays, Fashion Bunker family. Hope you're all enjoying the season despite the troubles this year has brought many. Thank you so much, Paige, my love. We're doing our best. We're holding in on it. You know, we're wearing our Telfar from 20 years ago that we finally fit in again because we're losing some weight. On, you know, uh, so, yes, <laughs> hopes for the future. Hopes for the future. Um, I want to say we're enjoying the season, you know. All things considered, right? Zoll says, I can't cry again. Stop with the emotions. One and Charlie says, oh, Merry Christmas. Johnny, just received Le Rouge de Chanel. Isn't it amazing, Johnny? Lasts only five minutes, but you know what? Those five minutes are heaven. 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 Johnny says, oh, sorry, says, Selena says, hope you have a lovely day to Blonde and Chatty. Tyler, we're manifesting a 100K celebration in 2023. Girl, here's hoping. Tyler also says YouTube has it out for the vampires. Oof, let me tell you. They really do. Jesus says, hey. Uh, uh, ha, ha, no, hey. Jesus doesn't say hey. Jesus says, have y'all heard about the new Britney conspiracies? People think she's gone or even passed away. Some say she has dementia. Allegedly, the Instagram posts are sus, to be honest. Okay. Yes, I've heard about that. And actually, somebody also said that she wasn't even present at her own wedding. Now, listen, I know it's a bit of a stretch. 
you know, I, I talked about this a couple of years ago in a, one of those segments that we never posted. It remained only visible to who was there live at that moment. Very performance art. But I'm going to say it here again about Britney Spears. And maybe if I remember later, let me just write this down to put this as a chapter. Uh, we are at 121. Okay. All right. Now, listen, I... <clears throat> now, listen, I have this theory about Britney Spears. First of all, before you come for me, I love her to bits. She just makes me happy. I wish her all the best in the world. Now, she has not really had a childhood. She's one of those, you know, Texas toddlers and tiaras, really, you know, with a kooky, crazy stage mom pushing her to, to work and strut and hustle she, since she was a kid. Brittany doesn't know a happy childhood like a lot of people had. Freedom to grow up, to be a teenager, to experiment, stuff like she was controlled since she was born, okay? Now, to finally get all that control, like, the poor thing, she doesn't know how to use that control. Like, nobody taught her, you guys. So the fact that she behaves erratically and strangely, it's because, like, she's been living in a golden cage her whole life. She didn't learn to live the way we live. So because she behaves so strangely online doesn't mean that she is like that somebody's impersonating her or that, you know, something is like, like that's her reality. I, I don't think that she's gone. I think that she's there. I just think that she's um, never really gotten, it's, it's really sad. It breaks my heart. She never got a chance to, I think she's still a child deep down inside because she never got a chance to grow up. They never allowed her to grow up. So it's tough. And is it too late now at this point in her age, in her biological age to really grow up? Might be. Something might have, you know, stopped growing, uh, evolving at a certain point. Just speculating here. You know, obviously, I'm I'm not a psychologist, nor nor am I a psychiatrist. It's just my five cents on from what I've seen these past years. It's kind of the feeling, the vibe I get, and it does break my heart because I think she's amazing. But just saying, anyway. Kev says I'm only subscribed to three channels, and they are all day comes. Oh, Kev, my love, thank you so much. Thank you. Sina says Let's get him to 100k by the end of the year. Paige says Merry Christmas to Blonde Chatty. Uh, Tyla, I don't know. I think Britney's just back on the pipe, to be honest. You know, or or that. That's also an option. <laughs> Leave Britney alone, says Debbie. Oh my God. Do you remember the Chris Crocker moment? Hold on, let me just turn the candle. Oh my God, the candle smells so good, by the way, you guys. The Leave Britney Alone, to me, Chris Crocker was the first YouTube sensation, hands down. In my little world, okay? In my little world, First, there was Chris Crocker in front of his curtain, where he would always like push that curtain around. He would always be like leaning on a curtain. Chris Crocker, uh, the Leave Britney Alone video, that was my first YouTube moment. Yay, I can't wait to see the videos, Dacov. Thank you, Selena. Gloria says, yay, shopping videos, pigeon down, pigeon down. Debbie says, I still hope to see the swooping. You will. You will, Debs. Tyler said, but that was from Melbourne. Tyler says, oh, come on, TK Maxx. T is hot, says Anne Blanchard. Yay, TK Maxx is my guilty pleasure. Jesus says, happy holidays to you, blonde. Silas says, I'm interested to see because I've never bought a bag at TK Maxx, but maybe I went to wrong ones, LOL. You'll see. <laughs> Kev says, oh, Valentina kills me. Polo wants it. Merry Christmas from L London. Thank you. Selena says, the Merry Christmas to you too. Just realize how cool your hair is today. I'm so distracted lately. Ah, tinsel. It's tinsel. Woven into the, you know, she is the Christmas no ornament. Sharona says, did you go to Paris to buy the CC Tarot cards, Coco Queen of Hearts? Sharona, I have not gone to Paris. But I have a little secret. And I will share it in a video soon. If you know, you know. But I've not gone to Paris. 
<laughs> Paige says, love the Telfar. It's stunning. Platinum level fashion. Right, pa Paige? How do you know it's Telfar? Did you tune in at the beginning? Oh, I said it again, didn't I? Uh, Brittany really needs help, poor woman. Mm. Says N. Blonde and Chatty says, Merry Christmas, Bubbles. Michael G, 100% agree. Hi, Michael G. Hey, Tisha, how's it going? Hi, Dacom. Hi, Tisha. Hi, hey, Savannah, do you own any Gucci? Yes, I do. So let me show you the Telfar moment, you guys. Okay, just for whoever tuned in just now, I live streamed a couple of days ago the 100th birthday of Chanel number 22 on my Essentially Deco Perfume channel. By the way, go follow me there as well. Awesome, fun times spent together talking about perfumes over there. While you're at it, you can also follow me on Instagram, Super Dacob Backup, all spelled together. And then also you can follow me on Dacob CC, all spelled together. This is my kind of uh, Super Dacob uh, Chanel uh, collection um, Instagram account, fan account. But anyway, so I was wearing the gold version of this. I bought these two almost 20 years ago in New York in a, like a designer store that was selling up and coming designers. And I have it archived in my archives since almost 20 years. And I wore the golden one for the Chanel number no. 22 video. And then Debbie asked me, like, what is it? And I was like, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Idiot me. Because how could I know? I bought it 20 years ago, loved it, archived it, took it out of the archives for a special occasion. And then today I was going to wear the silver one. And I look at the logo and I'm like, oh, my God. This is one of the first pieces Clemens Telfar ever made in the early 2000s. He wrote his logo with his own hands back then. Check it out. Like, you know what I mean? Can we just like... So, of course, I fainted. You know, I fainted and maybe I peed a little even from excitement. But um, anyway... No need for a diaper just yet. Uh, and and yeah, so I'm wearing Telfar that I purchased 20 years ago. Okay? So next time my friends and family tell me, you're crazy for buying this shit, Jacob, I'm going to tell them, yeah, zip it. She knows what she's doing. Okay. okay. <laughs> I had no clue. I just love the pieces. I bought them. And there you go. Today, it's like... It's like literally whoever bought Bitcoin at the beginning. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I have one of the like the OG first Telfar pieces. Chris Crocker's music low-key hits. I agree with you, Tyler. Tyler also says, I love Britney. She was my first concert, but I don't think there's anything left to this conspiracy. It's just a mentally ill person who also suffers from the effects of long-term drug use. Tyler, you might be onto something, you know. Smurfette says, they say mentally you, you remain the age at which you are traumatized, especially children. It's a good point, Smurfette. By the way, hi, Smurfette. Savannah says, same. Tyler says, Chris Crocker's music Loki hits. Carrie Fernandez, FYI, Chris Crocker is Cara Cunningham now. She transitioned in the past couple of years. My apologies, uh, Carrie. Um, Chris Crocker, okay, Cara. All right, or Cara. I, last time that I was... Um, aware of, of Chris, Chris's work was when Chris was into pornography. So I don't know anymore. So now it's Kara. Thanks for letting me know. Savannah says, such an icon. Just says, yes, she's transitioned. Tyler says, I want you a bite by Chris Crocker was my jam. Caroline. Hey, Caroline Jens Dottir. Good afternoon. Good evening and good night. Just checking quick in and out. Have a lovely evening. Thank you so much, my love. Merry Christmas. Blue Moscato. Hi, how's it going? Rachel. I think my next bag will be Louis Vuitton Alma. Any thoughts on the on the style? Love it. Just be careful. Don't overstuff it. It's going to bend at the tip. Hey, Styling Secret. I looked it up on the Chanel thing. It's totally sold out. Yes, but I think you can still go to the, to the exhibition. And if they have slots open, they can let you in. But I cannot promise. Hey, Flo Hugh. Merry Christmas to you, too. Selena says, Jacob, thanks for the live stream. Keeping me going so I can make a risotto, darling. Yay, as I miss this, says Bond and Chatty. Rachel says, risotto, yummy. The real Shaquin. Wow. Wow, 20 years ago? Yeah. He literally, the logo, he drew it by hand with a, with a Sharpie. This is how, <laughs> this is his tag is made with a Sharpie. Just a true testament to how good I archive things, you know. 
Sometimes people come from me like, hey, what are you talking about? You, you don't put a bang like that. You don't pack a bang like that. My like, girl, you do you, boo. I know what I'm doing. Been doing it for like two decades already, or even longer. Rachel K says, Jacob, how do you store your clothes to keep them so pristine? Not in plastic bags, surely. Yeah, some things do. I don't seal them off. I let them hang. And then I cover them with plastic, like top half. And so just at the just the tip uh, remains, you know, dust free. But then it's a lot of things next to each other. So they protect each other and a lot of air filtering through. You have a good eye. These tops are fabulous. Thank you, Jesse, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. That is Archive Archive. Tyla. Yas, queen. Tyler also says the Sharpie tag is too iconic. I know, right? Oh, my God. In fact, when I figured out that this was like Telfar from 20 years ago, I was like, <gasps> I, I, can't, I can't wear this. This is museum. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll just, I can't. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, look what, look what that Oompa Loompa did to the Marilyn Monroe dress. Kim, I'm looking at you, Kim. Kardabachan. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. that's how I call her privately. Oh, damn. Well, now it came out. <laughs> forget about it. Rewind. We forget. I uh, forget about it. Rewind. Let's do this again. I'm looking at you, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so, you know, like with the Marilyn Monroe dress, how she like busted at the seams. And I'm like, I, I can't wear this. I can't destroy it. I mean, like, but then I thought to myself, well, hold on a minute. This is mine. I've had this for 20 years, okay? It's in my archives. It belongs in a museum, but then I said to myself, but I belong in a museum too. <laughs> Plus, I did not destroy the golden one when I wore it this week, so we're good to go. I mean, you never know. Uh, Savannah says, that's why I follow you. Thank you, Savannah. Tyler says, she don't keep up with the Joneses. Is, 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 is. She is the Joneses. Is, 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 is. Blue Moscato. There is a trick for shopping at TK Maxx. You have to go when the shop opens. Ugh, a lot of work. Rachel says, thank you. Tyler, the Alma is great, but that huge piece of aketa on the bottom is why I sold mine. Once it gets stained, it looks rag raggedy. I like when it gets a little, you know, ratchet, a little dirty, like me, you know. Savannah says, the new Gucci Diana is my first designer bag. Laura, the CC spy, um, you can join a queue for those with no booking at the Chanel exhibition. By the way, Laura has been there, the CC spy. Okay. Can we talk about Laura just for a second here, you guys, the CC spy? First of all, go follow this wonderful, beautiful angel of a human being on Instagram. Second of all, the CC spy has been a victim of impersonating on Instagram. Like, this is no joke. We just found out that it's like 15 or 20 accounts that some mean person created with the CC spy. Like, like they literally changed, like, for example, you see how it's spelled T-H-E-C-C-S-P-Y? Like, they would make another account with T-H-E-E. CCSPY or T H H E C C S P Y, like 20, 15 or 20 accounts on Instagram. And I've been kind of tracking. I'm like, wow, the or like the earliest post was like from October. And I'm like, and this is really bad because for Laura, you know how Instagram is stupid AF. So like, but basically what Instagram's algorithm may be doing now is <clears throat> these extra accounts that some mad, mad person created, like they kind of copy what she posts and then they also post it. But this is really damaging for her algorithm because the Instagram thinks like, oh, wait, you're spamming Instagram by posting the same thing like five times. And so Laura has been noticing that like she didn't know why all this time. She's like, wait, why are my reels and posts not getting the same traction they, they used to be getting in the past? This could be the reason Instagram might be shadow banning because of this. You guys, like, don't mess with people like this. This is not cool. Seriously, this is not cool. This is not cool. You have to stop it. Delete those accounts. Like, what the hell? What, what you're envious? You're jealous? Because somebody's just enjoying their life. And, you know, Laura has this huge passion for Chanel. I mean, she loves Chanel. Like, I cannot tell you how much she loves it. She loves it because... Not to show off that she can afford it. She loves it because she really loves it. It's like, it's her joy. It, it gives her happiness. Like, 
she even sits at home and paints Chanel stuff for herself. Like that's how much she loves it. Like leave her alone. Leave Laura alone. It's my Chris Crocker moment. Seriously, no, don't do this. Really, this is really shitty for your karma, creating these fake accounts. Really shitty for your karma. And plus, you're dealing with a voodoo priestess. So be very careful what you're doing and careful what you wish for, because you might just get it. You might just get it. And I got Laura's back. You mess with her, you mess with me. Yeah. Not cool. Like 20 Instagram fake accounts? Seriously? Using her same profile picture? You guys, no. No, this is bullying at a level which is like, it's illegal. You can't impersonate a person. Like this is like, no, you guys, really not cool. Stop that. Stop that. Really stop that. Amanda Margaret, it's three degrees. Oh, wait, three. Sorry. What the three? Uh, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Margaret, it's three degrees and my apartment's heat is out. <gasps> Go under a blanket. Cover yourself with a blanket. Or use a blow dryer, but don't fall asleep while it's on. Yeah, there are so many accounts, which is it, right? Styling Secret just is 20 accounts. Are they bots or something? I don't know if they're bots. It's a bit too... I don't think they're bots. Well, even if they're bots, some asshole had to activate them. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's awful. Yeah, just followed CC Spy... Wait, Styling Secret, that's, that's a different one. <laughs> That's it. It's thus. It has to have the in it. I was just going to say that Jesus, you know me too well. Oh, hashtag free Laura. Yeah, Laura's gonna say. I was just gonna say hashtag free Laura. So many people with too much time on their evil hands. Oh, Debbie, isn't that the truth? Monsieur says, "Hey, Jacob, let me know if you want me to buy the Chanel goodies uh, of the of the Five Expo." Oh, Monsieur Manuel, thank you so much, my love. Thank you, thank you. I'll let you know, but. For now, I think, I think I'm good. <laughs> but it's just, it's just, uh, we're going to make a whole video about that. I can't give up away too much. It's really awful, says Aisha. Nadine says, hi, Jacob. I was wondering, would you recommend Chanel as exclusives number 18 or 1957 as I'm interested in buying one? Nadine, number 18. Hell to the yes. Number 18, all the way. 1957 is also nice. I prefer number 18, personally. Scammers and fakes ruined the internet, says Savannah. Yeah, they ruined the fun for all of us, seriously. Just says, oh my God, one of the accounts has over 4,000 followers. That's insane. Jesus, I'm telling you, it's not cool. And you guys, please report these accounts. Don't by accident report the original Laura account. Report the... Laura has, I think, around 12,000 followers. Don't report that one. But help, help her out. I also report it. Report the fake accounts. You can't report them. So the more people report them and the sooner they're going to get taken offline. Louis says, oh, you on darling. I'm almost done working. I'm oh, glad you're done working, Louis. Merry Christmas, darling. Aisha says, I would die for the tarot cards. They're amazing, aren't they? Laura says, my husband noticed the same account with 4,000 followers. Vel says, I love 1957. Sally says, yeah, but the CC spy is recognizable since other people I know from here are following her too. Yes. Yes, she is. She is, especially because you see what that other people follow her. It's the biggest account with 12, 12K, I think, 13K. Uh, that's the OG. And then the other accounts are not, are, are the fake ones. And the jigsaw, as I am a jigsaw freak, says Aisha. Yeah, I like the black and white jigsaw, not the poster one. I mean, I wouldn't throw it away if somebody gave me the poster one too, you know, just saying. File as many reports as you can and ask your followers to report. Exactly. I'm so sorry for you, says Velasquez. I will report it if I see any. Blue Moscato says, I have a question. Can you blind buy Chanel exclusive perfume? You can blind purchase anything off of their website if you want to. I would not recommend it because I would always say try it out first. Try it out first. They're expensive. Smell it. If you don't like it, then, then you got to huge expensive perfume on your hands. I would not blind purchase them personally. Are we going to Paris? Asks Louis. I wish. Uh, the CC Spice says, yes, I shared on my stories. Um, Jesus says, oh, it's 100% it's a bot. 
Also, all the followers and likes on the fake account are bots. Russia is at it again. It's so obviously fake, says Jesus. CC Spice says, yes, I shared on my stories. Rachel says, I totally blind by Liz exclusives. My favorite right now is probably 31 Rue Cambon. Uh, Frozen Luxury, how's it going, sweetie? Just tuning in. Merry Christmas, my love. How's it going? Storm says, where can I buy Chanel and Dior exclusive perfumes? On the, on the Chanel website or at some special Chanel counters, but also in the Chanel beauty boutiques and in some of the fashion boutiques of Chanel as well. Lifelong Vuitton, finally joining. Hello from uh, SC, Ezra. Hey, how's it going? Ah! Wait, so this is your account? Or is this another Ezra? <laughs> Hi, sweetie, by the way. Either, either way. Yes. No, it's you. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Lifelong in Vuitton 1. Well, happy Hanukkah to you, my dear. Uh, I mean, smell, says Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Where can we try Chanel and Dior exclusive perfumes? I mean, smell. Yeah. I, 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 in the stores only. Um, in some select stores. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Shikma says, I bought my first Louis Vuitton of 20 years because of you. Oh, I got the Nano Noe. I love it so much. The Nano is adorable, but like, does it fit? I mean, you can put a phone in it, right? It kind of pokes out a little bit, but it fits, right? It's really cute, especially the new Nano because it has the leather bottom now. You know, the first version of it didn't have the leather, but the new one has it. It's really cute. Like, it's, it's literally a miniature of the BB. Well, of the regular Noe. Chanel 22, I miss you, daddy. Oh, Chanel 22 is back. Hello, darling. Listen, Chanel 22, Merry Christmas. But also, um, I wonder what Chanel did to you once I returned you to the boutique. I wonder what they did. Did they try to sell it again or did they send it back? Frozen Luxury, did you see the Louis Vuitton Eclipse bowling bag is coming back? Yes, Foxy LV showed it on her Insta. I like the photo, by the way. I have a little hair in my mouth. Um, got my mother-in-law an Hermes scarf for Christmas, says Rachel. Which color is it? Is it like an orange hues or different, like blue, green hues? Uh, Iceworm says, I live in, in the Midwest. It's hard to find stores that carry high-end perfumes. Oh, that's difficult. I mean, Chanel has a good return policy. The thing is, you know, in the States in particular, not of all of them, but most of their Les Exclusives perfumes come with a little sample. So you can test it out before you open the actual big box. And then if you don't like it, you can send it back. But it's a hassle. You know, you're paying for the big bottle $400 plus tax. And then you got to ship it back, wait for them to refund you the money if you don't like it. Like... You know, it's still a very big investment. So tricky, tricky, very tricky. Chanel 22 sold me, babe. Oh, they sold you. They sold it. Nadine says, I also bought Gabrielle a few weeks ago after watching your wonderful review. It's beautiful. Thank you. Nadine, did you buy the Extrait or did you buy the Essence or Eau de Parfum? Because the Extrait, honey, I don't have it here. It's in my bedroom at the moment. But um, anyway, but uh, it's to die for. To die for. Gorgeous. And I have a theory about Gabrielle Extrait. But to find out about that theory, you have to go and check out on my Essentially Jacob Perfume YouTube channel, the live stream dedicated to Chanel number 22. It's a fairy tale live stream. And it's very easy for you to navigate this three hour live stream because you can just click through the different chapters of the fairy tale. It's a journey. It's a journey. And Gabrielle Extrait does play a role in it. Just saying. But I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. And uh, Chanel probably turned Chanel 22 into parts for bag repair. Oh, my God. Kev, the shade. Rachel says, it is the picture of Paris with Hermes and Spotlight, dark blue and other colors. What are we talking about here? Sunny Secrets. In the Netherlands, there's only one official Chanel shop. But you can go to certain department stores in bigger cities. So maybe that's an option if you don't live in a big city for exclusive perfumes. Could be. Louis says, what I do sometimes, I call the boutiques and ask them. I mean, they rarely would send 
a sample out because it depends how good the boutique is doing, you know. For them, it's peanuts, unfortunately. Let me freshen up the makeup. Because, you know, they make these, like, huge sales of, like, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 per item. So for them, like, four hundred dollars for a perfume, it's like, they don't bother. You know what I mean? But, ooh. Oh, cha. Okay. Okay. Okay, she is powdered for the gods. I'm literally baking in this stuff. Oh, speaking of, well, now that I refreshed my makeup, let me do a quick thumbnail time moment because um, I would like to remind you guys that uh, for whoever now becomes a tier two member or patron, gets access every week to a pre-show that is longer than usual because I, during the pre-show now, I record several segments that are going to go uh, to the main channel. So if you want to be the first to see them before anybody else, and you want to be a, get a chance to be part of the live audience, virtual audience that is there while I record the segments, that's happening now on uh, the pre-shows. But I forgot to do the thumbnails, so I'm going to do the thumbnails now. Uh, Chanel22, I heard you started your journey. It's not that kind of journey. It's not a journey like buying stuff to get a Birkin or a Kelly. It's a very different journey. But it is a journey. Um, so Ru Longcha says, usually department stores have luxury perfume counters. I also live in the Midwest. Yes, but not all perfume counters, Chanel perfume counters carry Les Exclusives and Les You know what I mean? Oh, Ru Longcha, thank you so much for the donation. Ru Longcha donated $5. Happy holidays, Jacob, Snowman, Snowflake. Oh, so cute. They, I love how Bubbles is like, snowman, snowflake. That's right. Hit it. It 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 popped, but it didn't explode. Let me do another one. And then I need a refill because this is the last one. Okay. Ah! Oh, okay. Wow. It almost fell on the candle, y'all. Woo! Yas, queen. We got it. We popped the cherry. We popped the cherry. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and we need a refill. Oh, man, they've been popping. They have been popping. Wow, the smoke of it all. Live in ferret, though. Live in ferret. Baby Yoda, have you got something to say? Give me a cha. No, give me a cha. Give me a cha. Give me a cha. Now, hit it, cha, 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 cha. Come on, Jesus, cha. Do you guys hear do you guys hear the music? Because in the pre in the um, in the number 22 live stream, like there was music playing in the opening and in the closing, but it didn't work out. So I was like moving and dancing. It was I look totally spaced out because the music didn't record in the live stream I was like oh my god nobody told me because in the chats i was like okay let me, let me play some music now and then i'm like oh doesn't this sound amazing and nobody told me in the chats that the music you can't hear the music and i'm like like an idiot they're like moving to the music that you don't hear oh my god it was so embarrassing but it's kind of super funny too so yeah i heard the music but you guys didn't did you hear the cha 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 okay you did all right Rachel says, must run to help my son. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, sweetie. Um, Shikma, I always carry light. Fit my keys, wallet, and phone. I did buy from Amazon a velvet bag, and it keeps everything safe inside. <clears throat> I bought the extrait. It was a little pricey, but worth every penny. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Gabriel extrait. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, Monsieur said, Monsieur Manuel says that the quality of Tom Ford. Tom Ford? Quality super for leather goods concerning Tom Ford. So sad nobody talks about it, girl. Tom Ford. All right. Anyway, uh, um, <laughs> South Carolina. Oh, yes. Lifelong with our SC, South Carolina. I'm waiting on Gabrielle Essence. Mm, the Gabrielle fairy tale was definitely a journey. Oh, you watched it? 
Thank you for watching. Why are you waiting for a sans? I told you get the extrait. Cha. Some people love the love the essence as well, but you know. Shikwa anyway. Cha. Uh, must run. Oh wait, okay. So I read that one. Which one did I miss? Nothing here. Stunning secret. Yeah, I never seen Sycamore. I think at those counters, but it's the only place you can at least try. Fabulous. Penny says, yes, stunning secret. Jacob. You need a real pet, I think. I mean, I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Mm. Ah, I've been thinking about I mean, I had pets in the past, but I don't know. Just bought Paris because, you know, I'm traveling a lot and I don't want the animal to suffer. Uh, just uh, bought Paris Biarritz and love it. Oh, congrats, Penny. Uh, Pop says, don't get me started on Tom Ford. You know, I love him. I know you do. I know you get wet every time you see him. Penny says, put on just now listening to Jacob. Put on just now. Maybe put on just now, Gabrielle, extra while listening to Jacob. Maybe that's I what you want. I am confusion. Totally. Jesus, good old Tafford. His husband, yeah, passed away. I saw Tom Ford perfumes are, are too strong and strange. I did get Velvet Orchid, though. Deb says, I mean, I didn't. I Storm did. Debbie says, he good. He travels a lot. Lady Brat face, what kind of pet would you get? A little rhyme. Um, a hamster. <laughs> now, I would get a dog. I like dogs. Not one of those, like, weirdly overbred dogs. Like, you're not going to see me with a pug. Oh, no. I want, I want that poor thing to be able to breathe. Uh... Get a tiny dog and carry it in your purses, Vieltien. <laughs> Penny Lane says the Paris Biarritz. Oh, that's the one. Oh, Paris Biarritz is you put it on while listening to me. Gotcha. Jesus, I love how he stole the original name for opium. Right? If you know, you know. And the things you know. And the more you know. Kev says, live in ferret. Yas, a ferret. Oh, my God. Get your merch at www.superdacob.com. <laughs> That's www.superdacob.com. My RuPaul moment. Repeating everything twice. Some of the live stream, you guys. Let the YouTube algorithm know we ain't here to play, but we here to slay and to stay. <clears throat> a, a little ferret on a leash. Get an opossum. This sound is killing me. Yeah, all thanks to Aisha, the living ferret. Lady Bradface, I can picture purse dough. <laughs> Zol says, is it dishwasher safe though? No, it's not. Hand wash only, y'all, just to be safe. Or let me let me consult my crystal, my Chanel crystal ball. Crystal ball on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Yeah, I know the answer to that question, but can we dishwash you and my glass? Oh, hell no. Okay, it's a no. <laughs> Chanel Crystal Ball said no. Madame, living for a ferret. Jacob's mukbang eating some ferret to start a new pandemic. And can I be your can I be your pet? Of course you can, Pop. Madame is willing. Kev says, can we see Jacob's Snow Globe collection? Ooh, uh, I only have two here at the moment. We have the teeny tiny one from last year, which, by the way, I know it's the smallest one. It's still my favorite, favorite one because it's super adorable. It's a teeny tiny number five with gold glitter. I prefer the gold glitter to the white snow, to be honest with you, with a teeny tiny munchkin bottle inside. This is so cute. This is my favorite one. It's like a it's like a holiday tree ornament, right? But um, but yeah, but in terms of like complexity and how gorgeous it is of the bigger ones, this is my favorite one of the bigger ones. I do have three different ones uh, from the past years, but this is the one like they kind of make them more and more complex from year to year. They add more details inside of them. So I love seeing the evolution, although it's like every year. Oh, 
snow globe. Is that the highlight again? Okay. But you know what? I'm happy with it. Why not? Um, I think this one is really beautiful. I would have loved gold and snow in here as well, though. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm fine with the white snow as well, but gold would be, I mean, the gold glitter. Look at the gold glitter. It's so cute. I'm no, just saying. So has anyone tried Killian's Angel's Chair? I have not. How do you store and maintain expensive purses and clothes? Oh, wait, Jesus says, yes, Zara, I have tried it. Wish I haven't, says Jesus. I, I, I have a ton of videos on that. I have a ton of videos on how I store my Chanel bags, how I store the clothes, you know, because that would be a really long conversation now. Um, has anyone tried? Oh, sorry. Uh, gold one. Yeah, I like the gold one too, how chic, right? Mm. Yeah. Lifelong and we don't want. Yeah, Gabrielle extra gold. Ah, good. You got that one. Not a sounds. Signing secret. A snow globe can't be big enough with a Chanel bottle inside, if you ask me. They had one two years ago that was even bigger than this one, but it, it wasn't as a gift. It was just for in-store display. It was like double the size of this one, and it had an electric thing that made the snow twirl, and I think it would light up. But you couldn't, yeah. That one was not for sale, honey. And it was not, you know, it was just for in-store. That one was really cool. This one is beautiful, too. I just want gold glitter. I want gold snow. <laughs> just, you know, I want gold. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so it's 1 a.m. Christmas morning in Ghana. And I'm up watching Deco. Merry Christmas, Deco. Merry Christmas. I'm a baby. 902. Merry Christmas, sweetie. And Jesse says, I storm. He has great videos regarding purse storage. Ah, thanks, Jesse. Jesse says, I don't like the brand at all, Zara. I know people love them. Oh, Killian. Mm. The dog can give you gold snow. Are we talking about poop? <laughs> yeah, you want the Gabriel Extra gold glitter in that snow globe. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The gold glitter from the Extra. Oh, yeah. In general, you guys, the packaging of the Gabriel Extra, the box, inside it, the, the little kind of coffin, it looks like a coffin, but it's made out of this 24 karat look it's it's not real gold you know it's cardboard i mean maybe it's gold plated i don't know like gold leaf but it has this gold thick gold yellow gold texture on the core of the box it shines from within well hold on i took a photo you guys let me let me i have a photo here somewhere like it's insane um where is it did i post it on Insta? I can't remember. Hold on, let me check. Because, you know, it's been a while. When did I read you the extra? Like in May or June? Oh, time flies. Yeah, because I took Gabriel with me to Melbourne. So I definitely... So I definitely did the review before July. So maybe I did the review in June or May. Right? So I think, ah, here it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So the angle is a bit awkward. You might be like, wait, what is this? So it's from the, when you lift, you know, it's the extra. So it's made out of two halves. You lift the lid off and then you have the other half of the box. And in the box, you place the bottle. And I'm going to show you the inside of the box with this gorgeous gold. Look at this gold. This is how intense the gold is. I mean, let me zoom it in. And it has this texture. It has this kind of grainy texture, like as if they put gold leaf on. It's insane. It's insane how intense it is inside. It's not on the outside. It's hiding on the inside only. It's like a shrine. And it's only visible when you lift the lid because the actual uh, box is that classic pale gold so the box um which i also think i have a photo of do i though maybe 
Did I post that on Insta? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Because the Gabriel uh, box is, uh... oh, here it is. Yeah, it's like kind of that pale gold for the Parfum. Well, I mean, this is paler than it should be, actually. But on, when you lift that lid off, inside it's that intense gold. It, it's, And I didn't know when I bought it, right? So when I lifted it open and that thing was inside, I was like, oh my goodness, this, this thing is on another level on another level, like seriously, the box is so beautiful. Yeah, it's like a tomb. Mm. Aisha says, wow, yeah, the package is beautiful, says Nadine. Yeah, yeah, that, that's hot, right, Mo? That's hot, that's hot. I can't do the Paris Hilton, huh? Well, that's hot, I can't do it. Donna says, I have the pure Gabrielle and I have the box on display on my Chanel table. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Like beyond gorgeous, seriously. Um, I have the pure. Is it like sublimage extra creme? No, it's different. The sublimage extra creme, which I also have, it's more glossy. This is more hefty. It's more like uh, heavy. It, it's it's grainy. It has a texture when you touch it. It's like thick and it has like little lumps and bumps all over it. Um, it's like the interior of that case from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> a tomb. The, I have the yeah. Listen, oh Zara says, oh I haven't tried anything by the brand, but curious about the scent, sweet and spicy at the same time. Sounds magical. Oh Kilian, that crackling inside reminded me of the reissue veining in the leather. You know what it looks like? It's it's like, and you can see it in particular very well on the. ruthenium hardware of the 255. You know how it has that aged kind of like veining on the metal hardware? It goes from dark to light. That's the texture, that ruthenium 255 hardware texture is on the Gabriel Extra interior and the sticker <clears throat> on the bottle is also that same gold, but it's not ruthenium, it's gold but it has that texture. Um, now, I think it's time to have a little celebratory drink. What say you? Oh, wait, first thumbnail time, hold on. Thumbnail time. Yep, okay. Oh, let a girl sign up. I don't know, is this snow too much? Well, we have to take the snow away for this. All right. So, um, anyway, I don't know. <clears throat> if I should have kept the snow up this whole time, was it disturbing? Was the snow disturbing? All right. Anyway, so let's a little bit thumb, a thumbnail moment. Hit it. Oh, there is no, the people are not entering. Okay. All right. I can't see. Wait, what's going on? Setting it up. Oh, hey, Caleb. Merry Christmas, darling. That does sound good. Opening my own bottle of Prosecco. Ah! Okay. Well, that just popped. Uh, Merry Prosecco, darling. Kev says, ah, oh, miss a good thumbnail moment. Oh, <laughs> wait, what is going on? Sorry, you guys, trying to work this out. I just got hit by my own sticklet. Damn, I should have got some. Yeah, yeah, you know what, Debs? It's a moment, it's a vibe. What just happened? My own crop just hit me. Hold on. Um, all right. Yeah, whip though. 
we got the OG and then we got the digital version as well. Carol says, hi, happy holidays. Hey, Carol, happy holidays to you too. Sarai says, oh my, mm, I've heard of cropping content. Oh, Caroline, darling. The bunker is in a parte mode, lol. Oh, you best believe. The the confetti, the the crop, the you know, it's it's let me tell you. It, it zhuzhes up a moment, it spices up a moment. And the candle, actually. Um wait, still. It is. I mean, I don't need the intro, but at least I just need to hear myself every time it clicks. Okay, so let me, yeah, let's just do it. And can I hear the click? Let me see. Okay, I can hear the click. All right, let's do thumbnail time. Okay, girl. <laughs> and I think that's that. It's like, seriously, um... making this video 20 years that's it <laughs> carol just wait is this much but i need a drink now No, this is not I wish. No, this is Telfar from 20 years ago that I purchased without even knowing it's Telfar back then. Uh, from, you know, from a young designer, Clements. Yeah, just, you know, let me pop a cherry. Okay. So this, um, <coughs> I got champagne. I got the Hide Seek Company champagne today. Not sponsored, by the way. This is just to celebrate. Oh, and it's out of the fridge, super nice and cold. And I'm going to pop it open. I didn't want to do LVMH champagnes. You know what I mean? Like I already give them enough money for Louis and I didn't need to do a Veuve Clicquot moment. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, you know what? You've, you've taken enough. You've taken enough LVMH. I'm not going to. Not going to. Not going to. No, I'm not going to. Oh, and before we pop it, Before we pop it, let me just turn the candle off. I know we can turn the candle off later. Oh gosh, no, this, you know what? Take all this off. I don't like this. Okay. Cause it's like metal around there. You can kind of cut yourself on it. So I just take the whole sticker off. Now listen, we're popping a real cherry here okay i'm not a big drinker so obviously i'm not gonna get a big bottle this is enough um we're popping a cherry y'all <laughs> tina says oh you look healthy jacob thank you so much i've just recovered from like two weeks of illness but uh yeah cheers uh you're like joey and friends acting class oh my god here we go with friend okay so i really hope i don't Oh my God, I have so many things surrounding me. 
okay, you guys, pray for me that this thing doesn't break something. I'll kind of direct it towards the ceiling, but uh, we'll go, we'll go. So, uh, hey, Jesus, you know, happy times, happy times, darling. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. It gonna explode, cha. Oh, palm it? Debbie, I'm gonna get a hole in my arm if I palm it. Wait, let me take the ring off. I'm scared for the ring. <laughs> let me take the Chanel. Protect the Chanel, no matter what you do. It's a little teeny tiny champagne bottle. Monopole. Yes, because we have the monopoly over YouTube. Yes, we do. So YouTube is not giving us the views. Who cares? We still have the monopole over YouTube. <gasps> Oh my god! Damn it! It spilled, y'all! It spilled! Oh my god. Y'all. Okay, hold on. Let me just put it here. And let me clean. Okay, let me take a sippy. I spilled. Okay, this is like, what a moment. Cheers, darling. Mmm. Mmm. It's mmm. Mmm. You know what? Mmm. How elegant. <laughs> Can I just say a toilet paper and champagne? Such a vibe. Such a vibe. Mmm. Oh my god, hold on. Let me just put it on for a second. It's really good. Listen, a bitch can get used to this. Oh, dangerous. Oh, the Telfar got wet. But you know what? <laughs> it doesn't stain. Hold on, let me go on my knees for a second. Let me blow this bottle. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, hold on. Hi, everybody. Hey, hello. Uh, hold on, let me just, uh... And we say bye-bye! Bye, everybody! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, now let's do the elegant version of the sippy without the toilet paper. Cheers, you guys! Hmm. Ah, oh, this is so good. Okay, this shit is really good. By the way, not sponsored. Um, Monopole Champagne. It's good because it doesn't give me that, listen, I mean, you know, no shade uh, against Veuve Clicquot, but Veuve Clicquot is a little bit too dry for my taste. And Veuve Clicquot, yes, yeah, super famous and all, but it has that slight bitter flavor, which a lot of people really like. But what I like about this one I make it happen fast, Debbie. Oh, honey, this was already longer than... This one has a nice softness to it. There's nothing bitter about this one. It's not sweet. It's still that elegant champagne, but it doesn't go into that bitter... Like, Veuve Clicquot is a little bit bitter for me. Yeah, it's rounded. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's really good. Mm. Oh, what a vibe. Monopol, darling. Live in Ferret. Wine perfume we can drink. Oh, yes. What perfumes are you wearing, by the way? I can't say what I'm wearing. Well, only people who saw the pre-show know what I'm wearing, but I can't give it away because it's in a video coming soon. Um, but I am wearing a fragrance which I just unboxed in the pre-show, and uh, it's such a vibe, such a vibe. Oh, you're wearing Santal Noir? Aisha, mm, Gucci Guilty Intense, lady, Bradface. Ombre Leather. Oh, Pop is wearing Tom Ford. Pop is wearing Tom Ford. 
Lifelong we don't have one manatee. Well, that's a beautiful choice as well. Oh, love that caviar. Favila Chosa. I'm wearing Alexandria too by Sergeoff. My favorite oud ever. Jesus. Au noir and vintage opium extrait. Cha the combo. Cha. Live in ferret. Live in ferret. And then five euro trope, send ouds, send ouds. Oh, no, wait. Bubbles said that. Oh my God, Bubbles, seriously. I'm a baby, says, I agree. I don't like too dry champagne. My champagne needs to be juice. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Vel says, Cha, I'm wearing red door, smelling like everyone's aunt this festive season. We love a good auntie. <laughs> Bubble says, when life closes a door, just open it again, Vel. It's a door. That's how they work. <laughs> oh, bubbles. Sometimes she just, it, they just misses. The, oh. Earlier had on Ro, Roja Dove. Danger. Velasquez, wearing Mitsuko and Nahima, layered. Ooh. Oh, that's an interesting combo. Lily Bonfi, I'm wearing Madeleine Vionnet, Stunning Secret, Mademoiselle Intense, I Purple Nachos, Chance, Chanel, Madame McQueen Parfum, or oh, the Black Bottle. Mm, that one is a gorgeous tuberose. Ice Storm, Mugla Alien, and Tom Ford Velvet Leather, Carol Laco, My Wi Fi Isn't Working. That's a good perfume. <laughs> I have to go. Can't wait to watch the videos after the live. Oh, thank you so much, Karel. Tina, Girl of Now by Elisab Soraya, Cinema YSL. Donna Donahue wearing number 22. VLTN wearing Mademoiselle Tipal. I recorded a sample of Gucci Wrecked. Oh, you wrecked a sample of Gucci Boom. Such a blast of uh, Beverly Hills Giorgio, then poof, gone. Lifelong in Vuitton. Come on, White Diamonds. Katha Chow by Rado Oud Immortel. Shikma says Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Jesus, she opens the dough to another dough to another dough. And we're, th and we're running through. Vel laughing. Nadine says, we're in Chanel Gardenia. Allure says Amina, Lady Bradface. Oh my gosh. Speaking of perfumes, my mama still has her bottle of eternity from 1989. I have the pure perfume from 1989. What? a magical fragrance you know i've reviewed it and you know what i have to say about it but also i find it so fascinating that each and every one of us is wearing a different perfume did you notice not two people said the same perfume that is freaking mind-blowing to me that we all find different perfumes at the moment to be the right ones for us it's just proof to me like how beautifully multifaceted we all are so gorgeous so gorgeous. Hermes Twilly, Katie. Gabrielle, Melanie. Tipa says, I'm drinking bubbly sparkling water in cherry bubbly flavor. Styling Secret says, we must be the best smelling people ever. Ever. I agree. Paige D says, her by Burberry was a sample. It's okay. I've tried that and the Ombre Leather by Tom Ford recently. Both men. Monsieur Manuel says, Jacob pour Monsieur. <laughs> Living ferret. Paige says, I'd rather be wearing Sean's butt at dad's and didn't bring it. I love almond, says Tina. Also, you might really like uh, hypnotic poison. Storm says, because we, your viewers, have taste, lol, we don't follow the pacts here. Here, yeah, yeah. I agree to that. I, I'm going to drink to that, darling, in my 20-year-old Telfar that I can finally fit in again because she's been on a diet. Hmm. Mm. Oh my God. Now that it had a little bit of oxygen. Oh. It's really good. It's smooth. Mm. I wish I had a strawberry now to kind of. Mm. Oh, this thing is good, you guys. Mm. It's really good. Dangerously good. Dangerously good. Oh, Debbie, you want to make marzipan? Debs, if you were here now, I would give you, you know, I'm on a diet, I can't eat them. So Louis Vuitton gave me these little marzipan Lego, because, you know, Lego is their kind of seasonal display for their windows. I still have no clue why they did that. It's not like they're selling Lego bags. But anyway, so they gave me these little marzipan cookies or marzipan treats, 
like Louis Vuitton with Lego. So they have the Lego packaging. Like the, it's like a Lego brick, but inside is a marzipan treat. So they're just in my, they're archived. I can't eat them. But Louis Vuitton, thank you so much, Louis. Luigi Vuitton, grazie mille. Grazie, mi è veramente piaciuto. Oh, also, did you see one of the ladies from uh, the White Lotus giving an interview? She flew over to America. It's a bit sad because the Italians are always like so desperate for, you know, to be an American TV show. So they're like hyper thankful for everything. Even though they might not be that nice to their Italian colleagues in Italy. Just saying, not saying that she's like that, but... I'm a little bit like too much. Everybody's like, you know, oh, acting with Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, my God, I worship her. I worship her. I'm like, listen, Jennifer Coolidge is amazing, but I would not get heart palpitations if I was standing next to her acting with her. Speaking of Jennifer Coolidge, by the way, the producer and co-director and editor of Art Lovers Unite, Patrick J. Thomas, he's also an actor. You know that Jennifer Coolidge was in Two Broke Girls? The sitcom Two Broke Girls, well, Patrick was in one of the episodes. He acted in one of the episodes, and he was acting with Jennifer Coolidge. And he said she's really nice. She's really nice. I got my insider info about everybody and everybody and everything. So be a big F, huh? Mi raccomando, eh? She's quite tall. She's tall like the 4th of July. Yeah, Debs. Uh, Patrick was in um, Two Bro Girls. He was also on Million Dollar Matchmaker. And he was also in um, The Comeback. I think. Or... I can't remember. He was definitely in a in a TV show with uh, Lisa Kudrow as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, in the comeback. He was in the comeback with Lisa Kudrow. I love Lisa Kudrow. I adore web therapy. Not the real web therapy. The TV show web therapy with Lisa Kudrow. Oh, my God. Well, she created by Lisa Kudrow. That is such a good show. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's a graduate. Yes. <laughs> oh, I lost the thing again. Oh, no. When I went down on my knees, I lost a bobble. Hold on. I guess I have to service the floor again. And we say bye bye. I got it. The rich lady mole is back. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah yeah you gotta track the episode down yay congrats oh thank you guys i shall convey the congratulations like it was a quickie it was a quickie yeah for some reason this one keeps falling off i don't know what i'm doing wrong um so yeah. Oh, wait, where's my champagne? So uh, that's a moment. <laughs> so yeah, Lisa, Kud Li Li Lisa Kudridge. I, I combined Coolidge with Kudrow. Kudridge. So I says, you're too much. I says, already, hey, your access to the red carpet. How's it going? I love your hair, darling. So festive and adorable. Thank you so much, sweetie. It took me forever to do this because this is really hard to do. When is Laura coming back for a video? I miss her. Oh, Laura might be here sooner than later. Listen, I had to take the stencil things, cut, cut them in, you know, cut off a little piece. And then I had to kind of, when I, yeah, there it is. It's poking out in the back, but you have to kind of like, Lift it at the right height. Then you got to tie your hair here, but you have to be very careful to not pull the stencil out. Uh, the tinsel, tinsel, not stencil, the tinsel. And it's really hard because you keep losing it. That takes like 10 minutes to catch it. 
once you've done that and you're separating the hair to create the braid, you have to be careful that the tinsel is on the top of one of the strands of hair, not underneath. That also took another 20 minutes. And then you have to weave it the right, braid it the right way so that it always kind of shows up. Otherwise, it's kind of hidden inside of the hair. That took forever. I had to do it like 10 times. And, uh, and then you got to do the same on the other side. <clears throat> and then I wanted to have the right length because I wanted the, the tinsel to also hang a little bit lower than the hair. So it's kind of like an extension of the hair. It took forever. The result, I mean, it looks a bit cheap, but then I thought to myself, eh, whatever. It's the holiday season. It can look festive. Festive stuff is cheap. It looks cheap. You know what I mean? It, 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 yeah, it doesn't look... You know what I mean? I looked more elegant in the number 22 video. Like that was like high class eleganza with the um, hibiscus flower. This is kind of like, you know, I'm a Christmas tree ornament. It's okay. You know, it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so Michael. Hey, Michael Direnzo. Sorry, I'm here. Sorry, I'm new here. Are you from Italy? I haven't heard you talk much about it. Hey, Michael Direnzo. I'm from planet Earth. So VLTN, I need a hair tutorial. Tipa says, Jacob looks very angelic. Oh, thank you, Tipa, my love. Thank you so much. Sylvie BT. That's a very elegant holiday ensemble. Thank you, Sylvie. Lifelong and Vuitton. Good. Scam28. Happy holidays, my dear. And Super Dick. Saludos desde Venezuela. Muchas gracias, Scam28. Besos. Muchos besos a ti. Y que te, que te la pasas bien. Madame, Jacob, have you ever listened to a small Italian singer featured in the White Lotus Mina in her... Yeah. And have you ever listened to that starlet wannabe singer who's like featured in other things? Like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, the shade, Madame. Madame knows. She's just joking. Well, they're just joking. Madame, I never figured out if you're a boy or a girl or in between. Reminds me of the CC chain. It's a vibe, says Kev. Ah, thank you, Kev. You're always too kind to me. Look, I know this looks a little bit ratchet, but I kind of thought it's cute for Christmas. No, I don't know. I can take it off, too, if it's like weird. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, Jesus. Yes, yeah, the one you announced the fake death of and gave us a panic attack. Yeah, we all got a heart attack when Madame did that. Uh, but it's different, and that's great, says Saraya. David. Silver Sorcery, says Page D. Sonic Secret. So your location is unknown? You never mentioned it. My location is known. I'm on planet Earth. Or am I? I travel a lot, you guys. I mean, you see, like, in my vlogs, and my posts. I mean, I've been everywhere. Like... In a lot of different places, every day, a new place to stay. Every day, we say hooray, because we get to stay in a new place every day, Jose. <clears throat> I have not, Jacob. Monsieur says, your favorite AppFab quote? It's La Croix, <laughs> sweetie darling. And of course, you can never have enough what is it? Boots, gloves, and shoes or something? Uh, that one. And then... Come to mama, sweetie darling. And then every time Eddie calls Safi's friend Titicaca, I know it's like politically so incorrect. And even Jennifer Saunders said, listen, today we could not get away with any of the jokes we did back in the day. Titicaca being one of them. I mean, how do they come up with the name Titicaca? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, gloves, hats, and shoes, Velasquez. Yes, you could ever have enough gloves, hats, and shoes. Cheers. Miranda Lee Duzont. How's it going, sweetie? Haven't been here in a bit. Jacob, you look refreshed. Oh, wait, let me scroll up again. You look refreshed. Are you doing anything new? Happy holidays to the fashion marker. I am doing new. I have lost weight. I'm dieting. You know, pandemic. Be damned. 
You know what I mean? I'm done. Done. My blobby fat. Oh, let me drink a sippy. My blobby fat is like, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with stagnating and marinating in my own juices for two years. So since a couple of weeks, I've been low carbing, low carbing and um, omega-3 fat loading. Because I went like I did a, a blood exam, a, like a blood checkup, you know, because after two years of pandemic, like I didn't do a blood checkup in two years, you know. So I finally did one. I was super scared. I thought like, yeah, I'm a goner. I was like, after two years of just like eating literally junk food, I'm I'm dead. But then I was kind of like, you know, let me knock on wood. I was kind of pleasantly surprised that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like my sugar is a little bit high, so I have to cut the sugars. Uh, but other than that, my blood pressure is is fine. All the other blood, whatever, I don't know what, what else they checked, but everything was fine, except the blood sugar is a little bit high. It's 5.5 5 .5 or 5.6. And... And then they also told me that my omega-3 fats are very low. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm loading on sardines, like salmon, avocado. So I eat a lot of fish and also vitamin D pills. Uh, and... Um, yeah, I've cut sugars and I've, I've kind of added more fish to my diet. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. And then I guess like in a month or two, maybe in like two months, I'm going to have another checkup just to see like if my like blood values are kind of like better. Uh, if not, then I'm going to have to kind of become even more extreme, I guess. Like changing my diet yet again I'm like i'm not doing like keto keto because i'm not like big on meat right like keto diet would be like no carbs but like you can eat meat as much as you want but i do fish you know and avocado and i can't do nuts because i'm i'm kind of allergic to them so because nuts would have a lot of omega-3 fats but i can't do those um so i have to find other ways to get the omega-3 fats in and they're really good for the immune system. You know, you need your omega-3s to protect you, especially in winter, uh, to stay healthy. So I'm really trying to load on those as much as I can. But cutting carbs was difficult because, like, you have to find out ways to quench the craving without over-binging. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? I mean, you, you have to find substitutes. So, for example... Uh, like I can eat as many berries as I want. Like I can eat strawberries. Those are like super low. Like they're like literally basically no carbs. So I could do strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Um, so I eat a ton of those. I eat a lot of berries, like a lot of berries. Every day I eat berries, berries, berries. Oranges are quite low on the sugar index as well. So I eat, um, I eat oranges as well. Uh, <clears throat> those are kind of the main fruits that I eat. And then I found this pasta. I know pasta is carbs, but I don't eat wheat pasta uh, or spaghetti. I found out that there is this plant, which is kind of disgusting. The cognac or the konjac, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's called the devil's tongue or the voodoo lily. And you know I'm a voodoo priestess, honey. So, so I found out about this plant called the voodoo lily or devil's tongue. It blooms like once in a blue moon and the flower is in bloom for up to two days only, maximum of two days. And it's disgusting because the flower smells of rotting flesh. Oh, just what a vampire needs. No, a vampire needs fresh blood, but it's kind of gross, but you don't eat the flower. You actually eat the root. Well, not the root. You eat the, um, the, um, what's it called? It's, uh, it's like orris root and iris. Iris comes out of, um, the, the flower iris grows out of a, um, it looks like a 
bubble. What's it called? Oh my gosh. Wait, the chats have stopped. Sorry, the chat. I need to. Yeah. Can anybody tell me? No, not the stem. Oh, wait, I have a photo of it. I can show you. I can show you. I have the... It looks really scary because like it has a horn. <laughs> I mean, it's this thing, right? It looks creepy AF. Okay, so they make pasta out of this. Like, let me see. Voodoo Lily. It's a creepy plant. Like, it's super creepy. It's huge, and it's stinky, and it looks like a carcass. Because it doesn't attract bees to pollinate itself. It attracts flies to pollinate itself. But you don't eat the, you don't eat the actual... And it smells of death. It's really gross. Um, but what you eat is the bottom of it. The... Um, Oh, it has a name. I don't know. But the actual flower. Looks like this. It's so creepy. It's also called like the phallus. It's like a phallic plant. Sylvie says, I went to the nature museum to smell that flower. It smelled like dead rodents. Yeah, it's disgusting. I have a Chinese market across the street and love that I can try all sorts of noodles. I saw that the Chanel cap is 3,500 from the Cruz. Yeah, I mean, it's insane. Forget about it. Chanel is over. But anyway, fashion, not perfumes. Um, okay, so this thing smells of dead rodents, right? But you don't eat the flower. You eat the, that root thing. And <clears throat> hey, Ollie, how's it going? So that's the flower, right? Uh, and But listen, it's like, okay, I'm eating it almost every day. Zero carbs, like no carbs, no fat. So out of that root thing, they create the pasta. And I eat the tagliatelle. I eat the tagliatelle version. They also have spaghetti, but I prefer the tagliatelle. And it tastes like glass noodles. Imagine kind of the consistency of glass noodles, but it's not made out of rice. It has zero carbs. So I do a tomato sauce. Uh, with olives, I can eat olives. Olives have no sugar, so they and they have good oils. So I, that's a good oil. I can eat olives. So I do tomato sauce with olives, oregano, with this pasta, zero carbs. It tastes really good. And take me to the morgue, says Debbie. It, but the pasta doesn't smell like dead plant. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, tuber. Lily Bonfi. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Tuber. That you eat the tuber. So out of the tuber, they make the pasta. Uh, Kev, it tastes like um, real pasta. It tastes like glass noodles with zero carbs. It's a bit more rubbery than glass noodles. The consistency is a little bit more... But yeah, it's like spaghetti. It's like noodles. It tastes like noodles with zero carbs in it. Gloria says, oh my God, yes, we had one of those flowers. Awful smell. Sonny Seeker says, it's a flesh-eating plant. No, it's not a flesh-eating plant. A lot of people mistake it for a flesh-eating plant. It's not. It does not eat insects. <clears throat> it just uh, evolved that way. It smells of rotting meat so that flies can come to it to pollinate it but the plant does not eat insects or any living creature no it's not an it's not a meat eating plant it's not they have huge versions of this plant yes there are really ginormous versions of the plant johnny says don't eat it wait hold on what don't eat it oh my god wait okay i need to cr i need to scroll up again Don't eat that. I can 
It, I can make you incredible food. Oh, Johnny, thank you. But you're not here right now, so I don't have an option. Science says, uh, they have versions of Leslie says the, the rhizome. Yes, I can show it to you. Like, actually. Okay, this is the spaghetti version in its uncooked form. I'll show it to you in just a second. The texture is too slimy, soggy. I can't. Uh, just as, if you cook it right, it's not soggy at all. I can't show it to you. I don't have it cooked right now, but I can show it to you how it is in the package. Uh, once it's cooked, it's not soggy. At least the way I cook it, it's not soggy. Uh, I also tried that noodles. They are land. They are land? Cha? What does that mean, land? Does it taste anything like pasta? Like glass noodles. Hmm. I would try it if I saw it. Okay. Are you ready to? No parmigiano. I could never. Um, I can eat cheese. I can add cheese. Yeah, I'm allowed to eat cheese, but I prefer feta. I prefer to add feta. Feta is healthier. Uh, Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. I came in and heard pasta with no carbs. What is the name of it? Gloria says, can you imagine harvesting all those corpse flowers? It's not for the, you don't make the pasta out of the flowers. You make it out of the tuber that's under the ground. The real Shakin says, Sharotaki noodles are great. Okay, here. Sounds lovely with some wild boar ragu. Okay, first of all, Kev, you guys, you got to check out Kev's Instagram because Kev posted. Kev, even for me, that was too much. Kev was in the north of Europe somewhere and ate like wild boar penis and brains of deer. And so I was like, oh my God, are we like in part two of uh midsummer or what was that like but kev yeah if you can eat all that stuff this is nothing so this is how it looks like in the satchel when you buy it it is kind of gooey so you don't really see it i mean it looks like yeah but there's like spaghetti in there <laughs> swimming in the in the water i don't know if you can see it It's kind of like a silicone boob. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the spaghetti version, which I'm not really fond of. I like the tagliatelle, so they're wider. And it's in this, yeah, it is kind of gooey like this. But once you put it in your, I do it in the Instapot, and then I mix it with the tomato sauce and the olives, and then it's not gooey anymore, okay? It just looks like glass noodles when it's done. I love it. I really, really love it. Zero carbs. To each their own. To each their own. It's a matter of getting used to. Jacob eats wet noodles. Yes, t pal. Jacob does. Uh, Giselle Belmar says, Norma is in Denmark. Oh, Kev says, I was at Norma. Had reindeer brain and penis. Yes, I saw. And I was like, way to go, girl. It's like getting penis where she can get it. <laughs> it's like, I can I take what I get. <laughs> God, living for it. Norma is in Copenhagen. Blood caramel says Kev. David says in Japan it is called konjaku. Zero calories. Exactly, David. Zero calories in konjaku. And I'm, I love it. I love it. It satiates you. It doesn't make you fat. You get used to it. The flavor is really good. Tomato sauce with this mm, to die for. Liz says, I like spaghetti squash and zucchini spirals for my noodle substitutes. Okay. Zoodles live in ferret. I love zoodles. Zoodles is amazing. I eat zoodles very often. Like the zucchini version of noodles. <laughs> yeah, good for you, says Tina. Not paying for that. Well, I'm... No. Okay. Look, it's not for everyone. It works for me. Thank God it works for me because it's, it's my, I love spaghetti and this is a great alternative for me. Makes me very happy and it satiates me. So I'm lucky because I like it. People who don't like it are less lucky because it, because uh, what, what other alternatives are you going to find to carby pasta? You know what I mean? If you have to go on a carb free diet or a low carb diet, tastes better when you have to pay for it, says Kev. Yes. Madame says, I have bought the 
the wet noodles too. But I agree, Jacob, the thinner ones aren't as good as the wider cut noodles. They just hold better in the water bag. Yeah. Deb says, if I live to 2023, I'll try some of these things. You go, Debs. Come on, don't kick the bucket on us. Like, don't don't pull a Betty White on New Year's Eve. Please, Debbie. No, you got to promise us you're not going to pull a Betty White on the 31st of December. I ain't having it. I ain't having it, Debs. No. You're not going to pull a Betty White on us, girl. No, it's not zero flavor, madame. It actually has flavor to me. I like it. Uh, and it is expensive, but it's only expensive because not too many people know about it. So only small quantities are produced. If more people would purchase it, it would get cheaper. Zucchini spaghetti. Yes, I love zucchini spaghetti styling secret. They're called zoodles, like zucchini noodles. Love it for you. Ew, says Jesus. Well, Giselle says it's an acquired taste. Listen, it's not like you're eating cockroaches, you guys. It's a beautiful plant. <laughs> anyway, champagne, darling. I can live with only that. Cheers, sweetie. Darling. Yeah, very Patsy Stone. Very Patsy Stone. No way, says Kev. We need to send someone to watch over Debs on New Year's Eve. Yeah, we do. Nope, I won't try to, says Debbie. Sophie says, no, we are not having it. Exactly. No, Debbie, I know you're not. Betty White didn't kill herself. Betty White kicked the bucket. I'm saying, don't pull a Betty White. Carrie Fernandez, I see konjac noodles at Asian grocery stores all the time. Zero calories. Try the wider ones, the, um, the tagliatelle versions. Madame says, but I love the konjac lasagna. Only had nine calories. It only had nine calories because of the ingredients that were in it, not because of the actual konjac lasagna. So you see, I'm telling you, it's good. Lifelong Vuitton says, any updates on the alleged sale of Chanel? No, but I have received more information from other people that have heard those rumors circling in Chanel boutiques in America even more now than before. Your access to the red carpet. Kev, ew, LMAO. <laughs> Sylvie says, I have chickpeas. I, I can't, I, you see, I cannot do chickpea. That is very, very high uh, in carbs and uh, it's, it, it falls into the nut category. I can't eat chi chickpeas. It's good if you eat it right away. It's soggy other way, and I can't do chickpeas. So I also cannot do hummus. I can't do any of that. Giselle says the udon version. Right, but the udon version is carby. He says, I had to learn how to love tofu. Uh, I can't do soy. You see, soy is also a no-go for me. So he says, I'm going to have to try those noodles. I'm telling you guys, get used to it. It's not bad. Try the wider ones and you got zero carb pasta. Cheers, sweetie. Just, good, just do a good sauce. Low carb sauce, but you know. And now I can fit into a shirt that I bought 20 years ago again. Like, come on, you know. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Richemont Acquisition. Oh, Lifelong of Vuitton says... Hashtag Richmond's uh, acquisition. Um, listen, this pasta, the konjac, whatever it's called, it doesn't taste like anything. Light, mild flavor. You have to make it taste like something. The trick is in the sauce. If you make the right sauce for it, it's amazing. The trick is in the sauce. It's not stinky. The pasta is not stinky, you guys. It doesn't stink like the flour does. It has nothing to do with the flour. I eat chickpea pea and lentil pea, a lot of pea. Tina says, interesting. The real Shakina, I always feel so much better on a low carb diet. Me too, girl. <gasps> Me too. Me too. Oh, what? Cheche? Yeah, yeah, Debbie. Cheche in Italian. Soraya says, must give it a try. Tipa says, cons jetty. Boy <laughs> says, no to self. Hashtag de cult. Get pasta. No, get konjac pasta, not the real pasta. She says, maybe add some protein to the stinky pasta. I'll try that. Liz says, you were a baby 20 years ago. Honey, I'm 237. In vampire years, that is a baby. Technically, I'm still a baby today. 237 for a vampire? Please. Who are you? Peanuts. 
poverty, poverty. <laughs> I love rice as Sobe. Yeah, but that's a bad one for the carb diet. Yes, styling secret, you can use olive oil on a low carb diet. Well, I can. I don't know if you can. Same with tofu. Madame says, but more protein at Jesus. Jacob has to get that body ready for the stereotype of OnlyFans content creators. Yes. Now, after I get the kilograms uh, and the um, everything down to a minimum, I have to then start training again. And then OnlyFans, here we go. And then OnlyFans will cover all the losses that we're making because the algorithm is low, so it's not giving us the views that we used to get. So the idea, <laughs> you know, OnlyFans covers whatever the losses are on YouTube. And there you go. It's a win-win. But yeah, we need, to... listen, either I do a Nikocado avocado body or I'm snatched. Like there's no in between. Like you can't, like, you can't go in between. Like it has to be either or. Or you go the twink direction. Like you don't do muscly. You just do really lean and skinny. That's a vibe. Um, or you do really over the top cheruby. Like an in-between is difficult. Rishak, he says, Jacob, you should try paneer. It's great cut into cubes and thrown into a stir fry. Ooh, but is it out of soy? What's it made of? Because I can't do soy. Actually, you should do a series on the companies owned by Chanel and their role uh, in specialty fashion production. Very specific. I don't know if my viewers would want to see that, but I love the idea. OnlyFans, you know we will look for it. Ah, right, Gloria, you minx, you naughty little minx. Sarai says, what about uh, grapeseed oil? Mm, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure I would have to look into it. We know the content, perfume reviews while, right? So he says, I guess most oils are okay, not saturated. Technically, that's the idea. The real chef Keen said, we should sell feet pics. I can't do toes. You know, Jocelyn, I, I cannot do toes. I don't like toes. Living up to the YouTube username. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you, yes. <laughs> and also your hoe to toilet. <laughs> Tifa says, I brought an um, arrow uh, garden and it grows herbs. So now I can get creative with my meals with fresh herbs, Swiss chard, uh, pak choy, and kale microgreens. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. That's really delicious. Listen, I adore pak choy, by the way. Just side note. Uh, your access is a red carpet. Only fans, the audacity of it all. Gasp, holding my wine glass. Oh, darling. Madame says, I vote for avocado body. You want me more cheruby? Interesting. Rara says, Jacob's only fans would be all artistic and pretty and stuff. Cute. <laughs> I mean, I would laugh the whole time. Could you imagine? Like, hey, here's my tit. <laughs> Here's my nipple. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do with a nipple? <laughs> it's like, let me, child, let me rub a nipple. I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> oh, you want a hairy tip? No, I'm not very hairy. Sorry. Very lean cuisine here, babes. Uh, only fans, Jacob CC Chanel theme. Yeah, right. Paneer has very few carbs, says Jocelyn. But he, but there is a market for foot foot fetishists. Mm. Super D on OF. Lifelong Vuitton says, I'm out to Jesus. Yeah, Super D. On, I mean, it sounds like, you know, kinky. Merry Christmas from UK. Merry Christmas to you too. Be passionate. I want you healthy and no eating disorders. No, I don't have an eating disorder. Don't worry. I went through that decades ago. We're, we're, we're way beyond that. Rara is laughing. Giselle says hello. Madame says, Harry Tit, please. Man, you have me laughing so hard. Emphasis on the hard, Giselle. Tipa says, try Greek yogurt and your berries dig. Ah, yes, I do. Um, um, I, uh, um, okay. I'm allergic to dairy. I know. I'm so complicated. I don't do lactose stuff. So lactose free. But I found a really good thing I love. 
Do you know Skier or Skyr? S-K-Y-R. I do Skier lactose free. And that's kind of like my yogurt. It's not yogurt. It's better. And I do Skier with blueberries. Obsessed. Obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Lactose free Skier with berries. It's kind of like from um, Norway or something like that. It's a Norwegian thing. So, yeah, Greek yogurt with your berries, Jacob, sprinkle ground flax seed yogurt for gut health, flax for omega-3, and your berries for antioxidants and flavor. Flavor flay, baby. Foot paneer, blue cheese could never. Oh, my God, Jesus. Madame said, <laughs> skier is better. I love skier. Skier. <laughs> Stanley Secret says, I eat that too. Giselle says, yes, very common. In Europe, it's very Scandinavian, right? Science says, Skier is great. Don't even taste difference. And your pronunciation is right, I, th I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's either Skier or Skier. It's not easy to find, but like when you find a place where you can buy it and I get the lactose-free one, it's really good. Icelandic Skier. Yeah. Oh, it's from Iceland. I don't know. Norway. I it's Scandinavian. I don't know. But yeah, love it. Love it. Mm. I do plain Olay, 0.1% fat yogurt. Skier is Icelandic. Okay, Iceland. Okay, so Skier is Bjork's cousin. It's like, I like to eat Skier. It's Bjork. This is your television and I will now penetrate your television with Skier. Uh, skier. Uh, chaya or chia seed pudding. With a cocoa powder and unsweetened coconut flakes, sprinkle cinnamon for a natural sweetness. I'm getting hungry with all these recipes. <gasps> Just lean, that sounds so good. Yeah, you see, guys, Just lean's recipe right there, the real Shaquin. That one. That one sounds really good. And I love that you use cinnamon as a natural, like, sweetness, but without it being sweet, so no carbs. That's a good one. Along with good health via diet, what are you loving in skincare? Oh, skincare, I do the artificial stuff. I'm really bad with that. I just do Chanel, the chemicals. But hey, for 237 years old, I think Chanel is doing its job. Um... Oh my God, Tonya is like, there's no way I'm finding skier in Memphis. I so want to sing the share version of Walking in Memphis. I'm walking in my own face. <laughs> Where she got her feet 10 feet off the ground. Uh, she looking for skier in Memphis. Yeah, so Jesus says, skier is a direct product from Bjork's dub. Okay. Not going to read that. Steph says, uh, grapeseed oil is low in most nutrients, but high in omega-6 fatty acids, which increases inflammation in the body. I avoid all but oil of... Oh, Steph, thank you for letting me know. Okay, then I'm not going to do grapeseed oil. That sounds terrible. Rara says, just as ew. I, like, I, I, even I couldn't read it, and I'm ratchet. Even I couldn't read Jesus' comment, and I'm ratchet. Onyx, how's it going, sweetie? Natural skincare is not that good. Right? Let's keep it. Let's keep it artificial, you guys. <laughs> Lifelong in Vuitton says me too. I'm using an eight percent glycolic right now. Love the bird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Sylvie, yes, they have skiered Whole Foods. You best believe. Tipa says I just found skier at Cro Crochet up the street. Thanks, Jacob. Tipa. Zoo it. It's so delish. And of course, I do the lactose free version, but you know, and I love the flavor of the lactose free one too. But you can do the lactose full one, but skier is the way to go for me. I love it. Love it. Love it to bits. And I love the consistency of it. It's like a wet, dry consistency. Living ferret. Living ferret. Living ferret. I'm a living ferret. I just found skier crochet. Leanne says, wait, who's from Memphis? She's walking in Memphis. Soraya says, thanks, Steph. I think Steph is from Memphis. Jesus says, I'm super high on fatty acids. You best believe. You're cherubi. I keep telling you, you're cherubi. You're not fatty. 
Ya cherubi. That's the new terminology. Onyx says, if nature was good for us, we would need skin skincare routines to fix what nature causes. Oh my God, Onyx, put that on a t-shirt right now. Jesse Gris says, if skier is in New Jersey, it's in Memphis. <laughs> Preach, sister. Leanne says, I'm from Memphis. Vel says, natural skincare is a dud. Hate the clean beauty trend. Thank you, Vel. And you guys, can I just say something, say a little something, something, something? I've met Vel in real life in Melbourne. We met up. I have never in my entire life seen another woman or human being in general, for that matter, with such incredible skin. Vel does not have one single pore visible. She is a goddess. Like, she is like... I'm like looking at her like... You don't have one single pore visible. So if Vel tells you skincare is a dud, hate the clean beauty trend, listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. Oh, says, thanks, Steph. I'm trying to avoid inflammatory food. Yeah, we're not going to do the grapeseed oil. Better life through chemistry, says David. Madame says, we love a good face peeling skin melting acid. Lactose is sugar, too. So good choice. I mean, you know, we'll go, we'll go. Tony says, we have a Whole Foods in Memphis. I will take a look-see. John, John Oates, a.k.a. K. Roger. Onyx says, two-faced form Batman vibes after over-exfoliating. We're living for it. Fabulous. Jesus is gorgeous. Jesus is gorgeous. Yes, I agree. The real Shaquin, a little soft and squishy, makes us comfy to cuddle with. Jocelyn... <clears throat> Girl, let me tell you something. I fully concur. It is cozy. It is cute. It is inviting. And it, it allows you to nest. I'm like a kitten. I like to massage the belly and do stuff with it. You know, like getting comfy to prepare myself to nest. Love it. Love it. That, I'm, that I'm that type of person. You don't want to cuddle with me. Because, you know. I will kitten all over you. Paws and all. Like, that's literally me. Uh, just saying. Val, share the skincare routine. Just says, let's just ban clean and natural skincare. Throw them all in the trash, says Jesus. Jesse Gris says, totally agree to Val. Lifelong with Tom said, come on, alpha hydroxyacid. <laughs> Onyx says, Karen. God, my hips are huge, Gretchen. Oh, no. Karen says, God, my hips are huge. Gretchen says, oh, please, I hate my calves. Regina says, at least you guys can wear halters. I've got man shoulders. <laughs> um, no imperfections. Onyx? No, Val has no imperfections. Science says, has Emily in Paris already been discussed? No, because I never watch Emily in Paris. I don't care for Emily in Paris. Kev says, making biscuits. Kev, you're such a tease. Sugar-free biscuits? No. Debbie said, Kev is a skinny legend. Kev can afford to eat, like, whatever Kev wants. So, more power to you, Kev. Deb says, we will just spy on you, right? Rara says, making biscuits. Madame says, is Emily still in Paris? Is Emily still a thing? I don't know. So he says, low carb is so hard in the winter months. I know. I just had a bowl of risotto for dinner. Risotto cooked in butter. American Princess, I'm in and out the chat because like I'm cleaning up the kitchen. Okay, girl. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> Love it. Like, let me just like let you guys know. Just FYI. I'm in and out. <laughs> I love it. Wait. So I just saw a reel on Instagram. Uh, I'm one of those people that can also eat whatever, but I don't really like food. The blessing is wasted on me. <gasps> Onyx, I know. It's like when you can have it, you don't want it. it. It's the curse of human beings. I made a cake for tomorrow and ate it already. Cha. Cha no, it says, Since we're sharing, I made cookies and macarons. Stop it. Okay, let me share with you a little joke. Um... Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, the cake. 
Yeah, no, I saw it. It's appearing. <laughs> TikTok algorithm is suggestions carnivores to me, or suggesting carnivores to me. They eat a block of butter a day and meat only. Cha. Yeah, no, I don't do the keto diet. Kev says, oh, girl, I had seafood pasta and I'm filled to the brim. Oh, my God. Stop. Seafood pasta? Guilty. I Like, low-carb diet goes out the window if you offer me seafood pasta. Like... I cannot say no to, like, that's to me the guilty pleasure. That and popcorn, cinema popcorn. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, sticks of butter on TikTok. Shauna, I know, it's it's just gross, right? Um, okay, so I saw the, um, the reel, Insta reel, uh, so cute. Somebody during the filming of the Golden Girls shot, like, while Rue McClanahan, a.k.a. Blanche Devereaux, and um, Betty White, a.k.a. Rose Nyland, in the show Rose Nyland and Blanche Devereaux. Uh, so Rue and Betty were sitting on the couch in the living room of the Golden Girls waiting as, you know, the people were setting up the lights and whatever. And Rue decided to kind of tell Betty a joke. Bless their hearts. So hey, how does the joke go? Oh, I'm terrible at this. Rue was much better at this. But let me try to, to repeat the joke that Rue told Betty on the couch while they didn't know that the cameras were rolling. So they were out of character. This was not Blanche and Rose talking. This is Rue McClanahan and Betty White talking. So Rue McClanahan, so Rue tells Betty, oh, I heard this joke. She's like, I heard this really dirty joke. I'm going to tell you one night when we're drunk, when we're like, when there's some alcohol involved, but I'm not going to say it now. It's too dirty. But I'm going to tell you another one. That's a little bit less dirty. She says, there's this guy stranded on an island with a pig in a... <laughs> oh okay. There's this guy... <laughs> there's this guy stranded on an island with a pig and a dog. And the guy's all alone. The pig is, a, it's, a, it, it's a female pig. And the, the guy's like really, really alone. And he goes like, you know what? Uh, the pig is kind of cute. <laughs> and so he's like, oh, the little cute perky nose and the little, you know, feels like human flesh when you touch the pig and the guy's kind of getting into the pig but the dog is in love with the pig <laughs> i can't i can't do it why can't i say this without laughing so every time the guy tries to come close <laughs> tries to come close to the pig the dog starts growling at him because the dog is very territorial the pig is the dog's girlfriend So one night, <clears throat> the dog is asleep, and the guy comes kind of close to the pig and tries to touch the pig. The dog wakes up and barks at the guy and wants to bite him, and the guy's like, ah. He's like, he just, he, he just, can't, he can't make love to the pig. <laughs> so one day, here comes, stranded on an island, a woman, this gorgeous blonde with luscious hair, the body of a goddess darling, mini skirt and all. And she kind of walks up the sandy beach and says, Oh my, can somebody help me? I'm all alone and horny. And the guy says, Oh, oh finally, here's somebody who can help me. Listen, honey. Can you help me and distract the dog while I get the pig? <laughs> oh my God, I can't breathe. Wait, I need water. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <clears throat> end of end of joke. Um, Rara says I was not expecting that. I know. 
It was a moment. Um, quick, somebody help me. <laughs> so could you imagine poor Jennifer Gould? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Madame. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Jennifer Coolidge. God, the zinger, Madame, your comedic timing, like. Wow, respect, Madame Palm Rose. How you delivered that chat? Wow, oh my god, seriously, Oof, that was good. Oh my god, oh my god. <clears throat> okay. I'm back. Hey, Julie Scott. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm at the families, but I just wanted to wish everyone happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. We just dropped a Golden Girls joke. So, you know, that's why we're a little bit cuckoo. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Steph. At Nagla, I stick to olive oil and butter. <laughs> Can't quit it. Oh, my God. Oh. Steph says to Rara, avoid any oils with big omega-6 fats. Okay, well, the chat, there, there you go. Uh, champagne is kicking in, chat. Oh, honey. The laughter is contagious, as Zara. Julie says, yes. I assumed I had just missed a really good joke, by the way. You were laughing. Yeah, I mean, it was not because, you know, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a good joke. Giselle says, oh, my, that was funny. What a moment, right? Let me tell you, because... Cece says, pigs in, pigs in the blanket. <laughs> Literally. Um, oh, my God. Speaking of pigs in the blanket. <laughs> isn't that how you call um, when you do, which, by the way, I don't do pork anymore. But, like, you know what I'm talking about? Dates. Not, like, going out on a date. But dates dry dates, twirled and fried bacon. It is blissful. It is godly. It is, it is thing. It is, it is a flavor that is, that came from paradise. Um, dates with bacon. Gloria. Yes. It's not gross, Debbie, at all. It is the most delicious thing. Fun pigs in blankets. Not a secret. Everything is good wrapped in bacon. True. But dates wrapped in deep fried bacon. Not raw, like deep fried, like crunchy bacon. Date, and then it has a little wrap of crunchy bacon around it. It is... Like, oh my God, you get high. The flavor is insane. Yeah, Caleb, it's divine. Seriously, it's divine. And on, on my many journeys that I have done in many countries, particularly in Europe, it's like a, also a typical Christmas thing or New Year's Eve thing. Like they do these dates wrapped in crispy deep fried bacon. It's, I kid you not, you guys, it's amazing. Pigs on horseback. Is that how it's called? Yeah, salty, fatty, sweet. 
It's salty, fatty, and sweet. It's so delicious. It's really going to give it a try. I like dates. Tonya, but get a good recipe, like, you know, so that you know exactly how to do it. So that you have to put it in the oven. I think you wrap them in the bacon and then you got to put them all in the oven. I think it's done in the oven. And then when they're out, oh my God, it's delicious. ER says true. Yeah. Sir Stroming with, wait, wait, wait uh, Jesus, are you pulling another one of those words that means something else? <laughs> I did that as, as appetizers for Christmas one year. Everyone loved it. It's delish. Jana, it's delish with the pit for extra crunch. No, there's no pit. You guys, thanks for saying that, madame. Uh, no, there's no pit. You got to take dates without the pit. Dates that have been de-pitted and, and wrapped in uh, crunchy, crunchy, um, uh, bacon. Chocolate covered bacon tastes good as well. Salty sweet. My first time joining your live. Hey, Landa Landa. Welcome, sweetie. Chocolate covered in bacon sounds really delicious as well. Okay, that's fine. I'll try it with turkey bacon, says Debbie. Giselle says, not in Scandinavia. Madame says, not so Jesus sweet. I don't know. Just tuning in with my Chanel brooch. Hey, MXGX. How are you, D? I'm really good. Thank you. How are you? Merry Christmas or happy holidays or, you know, whatever you're celebrating. Giselle says, uh, here in Denmark, we do eat flesk steak. What? Stein Siegel says, sir, okay. <clears throat> no, it's Swedish fermented fish. Oh, gotcha. No more McDonald's and nuggets. Listen, I love my big, you guys, like if you tell me you can only have one thing from McDonald's, it would be a Big Mac or a cheeseburger. Like I'm that simple girl. Like, actually, you know what? If I really had to, like, just pick one forever, it would be cheeseburger. McDonald's cheeseburger. Like, from McDonald's, like, the best thing at McDonald's, Big Mac or cheeseburger. Wow, I never heard of it, but I don't eat bacon. Yeah, so then you could do what Debbie suggested to do the turkey version of it. Those days are over, says Tina. Yeah, no more McDonald's. Well... I do have cheat days. I'm allowed to have a cheat day once in a while. And when I have a cheat day, I sometimes like decide to have a pizza, you know, or or like a burger. Of course, you have to have cheat days. Nothing is healthy if it's extreme. If you only push it in one extreme, it's not good. So you always have to kind of balance out that and hop and John on my New Year's Eve menu says Nuala 357. Steph says pretty much anything wrapped in bacon sounds good. LOL. As long as it's crispy. Yeah, it has to be crispy. I don't like raw bacon. Oof. Or when it's like saggy and it's like been kind of like done in oil, but like that. As I don't do pork except for bacon, <clears throat> but it has to be crispy. Sonny Seeker says, in the Netherlands, we had a challenge. If you could hold in your, oh, that thing, you wouldn't donate to this good, oh, cha. That is. <coughs> Kev says, can't go without French fries. I know I love French fries so much everything potato related but you know you just you can't that's true sashina er says balance is key oh balance is balance <laughs> the french version of balance balance is key oh my god i can't believe you just said that don't want to don't want no saggy don't want no saggy bacon don't want no sa sa saggy bacon right why force people to eat a food that will make you puke yeah don't do it control Portions is how I lost 10 pounds since Halloween. <clears throat> Michael G says, does it work with turkey bacon? I guess it does. I don't know. Debbie can try and let us know. Only meats I eat are chicken and turkey. Everything else is nasty. Madame says, you have to try the Cheesecake McFlurry Day Cub. I might have tried something. I mean, McFlurry comes in like all sorts of seasonal flavors from time to time. I might have tasted it in the past if that thing existed. Like, ALS, oh, yes, ALS challenge with the, with the cold water bucket. I know that was also insane. That was a viral moment, wasn't it? The Real Shaquille says, I love bacon. It makes everything better. I can't do super crispy. Oh, <clears throat> try this. Mini pickles wrapped in bacon. Stick a toothpick to hold in place and cook in the air fryer so so good that sounds amazing by the way you put the toothpick on the dates with bacon as well <clears throat> date wrap the bacon put the toothpick and then put it in the air fryer or in the oven but you can do it with a pickle interesting sure why not less carbs 
Well, it depends. If it's a cornichon, it has sugar. Uh, in Japan, Leanne says, I would do it with fried gyro. I love crispy bacon. Me too. You guys are making me so hungry. Me too. Oh my God. It's insane. <clears throat> oh, the candle. Okay. Let me show you how to do So we... It's the it's the snuffer, the candle snuffer from Christian Ja. Because it was a gift from uh, Jane Davenport. Thank you so much, Jane. Now the Dior candle hashtag not sponsored is. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, it smells. I can't really tilt it because I don't want the wax to kind of flip to the side. But I'm gonna turn it off now. You can see a little bit of the. This is how you do this to turn it off. The time has come, you guys. We've been doing over <clears throat> three and a half hours. This has been our Christmas or holiday live stream. I told you, it's a new version of the Fashion Bunker. But don't you be worried because we're going to have more coming uh, pretty soon. Sooner than you think. And um, let's turn this thing off. And this it says that this prevents the smoke from diffusing too much. But there's still going to be a lot of smoke. So it's a, I mean, it's a cute gidget. But you, you're not supposed to put it into the wax. So don't <clears throat> waxify it, but just suffocate the flame. Let's suffocate the flame. Let's extinguish this live stream flame. Here goes. Okay. <gasps> Shall the smoke. There's still smoke. But this is supposed to prevent it from diffusing too much. Fascinating. It actually really worked. Minimal amount of smoke exited and... Oh my God, it smells so good. This candle and it's Saint Honoré. It's my favorite from the range of all of the uh, Collection Privé candles. Saint Honoré is my favorite. It is <clears throat> amazing for the holiday season. And it also satiates you. It smells like, you know, food. So how does this thing look like now? Look, it looks super clean. <clears throat> like it didn't stain, the smoke didn't stain it. And I didn't dip it into the thing, you know? All this time I thought Johnny has long hair. <clears throat> what are we talking about? No stunning here. I'm not going to use my fingers. I got this present. I'm going to use this. Exquisite pain. Smoke. American Princess is nice. <clears throat> Jonah says to American Princess, I make all of that. Ooh. Oh, the snow is coming down again. Like that visual. Thank you, Gloria. See you guys. You made me hungry, says Giselle. All this time, I thought Johnny has long hair. Jonah says, gumbo is my favorite food. Love gumbo, too. Love southern food. Me, too. Merry Christmas, Dacob. Merry Christmas to you too, Tisha. Merry Princess says, John, oh, it's nice. ER says, thank you, Dacob. Wish you all the best. Thank you, guys. Tipa says, my present to Dacob and to <clears throat> all a good night. Thank you so much. I love you too, T-Pal. Soraya says, Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas, Soraya. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. If you have, thumb it up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Super Deco Backup, all spelled together. My other Instagram account, Jacob CC, dedicated to my Chanel collection. Uh, follow me on my perfume channel, Super. De no, what's it called? Essentially Jacob, spelled Essence minus T I A L L Y Jacob. Perfume dedicated channel. Also follow me on my pop culture channel, Totally Jacob. And uh, it was lovely. Thank you, Jesus. Round of applause to all the mods for keeping us safe. Special thanks to the mods in the fashion bunker. Thanks to Debbie, Jesus, Audrey, Asia, Nicole, and Kat's Bubbles. Loves you. There you go. And a round of applause. Thank you to Debbie, Jesus, Kev, Aisha, Audrey, Nicole. Woo, 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 woo. Slay the audio, right? And <clears throat> I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, no matter what you believe in or not believe in. It doesn't matter as long as you're not alone and you stay together with somebody. 
either physically or in spirit. That's all that matters, really, at the end of the day, because we are social creatures and we need to unite. Unity is strength. Separation is our weakness and ultimate downfall. So I'm wishing you all a wonderful weekend. Uh, I will be posting, I will be leaving this video up for you all to watch if you want to watch it again, if you want to hear me talk about crazy stuff <laughs> all over again. And then I'm going to see you pretty soon. I'm posting a new video tomorrow. And then like next week, we're going to do maybe another live stream in the middle of the week or something, a little something, something from a, like a new location. I'm traveling again. So um, let's see what, what, what we'll go, we'll go. And uh, Kev says, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays, everyone says, Caleb. Honey says, Happy Holidays. Vos says, Goodbye, everyone. Hopefully I'm not invisible on my main next time. You're visible now. That's what counts. Tina says, Yas, just says, Merry Christmas. Hey, Ron Swanson. Whoop, whoop. Madame says, Happy Holidays, everyone. Take care, everyone says, Jesus. Whoop, whoop. Debbie. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays, everyone. Besides, you can say, Enjoy your days, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Take it easy. Don't let the pressure of the holidays get to you psychologically. It's over in three days. We're all going to get together right after that again. You're not alone. D don't you ever forget that. Of course, never give up on love. But also remember, you're not alone. We're all in this together. Okay, you guys? Till next time, never give up on love. Love you loads and see you soon. Merry holidays, y'all. Ho, ho, ho. With an H-O-E. Wink, wink. Bye. And then we're going to do Chow. Chow, 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 chow. Chow, 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 chow. Chow, 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 chow.